Hello and good evening. Welcome in, Monk. Thanks for stopping in to say hello. Uh, appreciate you redeeming the first, as always. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, it's good to see you guys. I am happy to report my dentist appointment went well and I am feeling okay today, so... Not too much stress in my life at the moment. I gotta spend a few bones, but... Nothing that can't be managed over the course of time, it'll be okay. So I'm not feeling so sick anymore, and I seem feeling okay. So we are back, if you can tell, of course, in the... Oh, I need to mute that. Are you guys hearing double audio, or is it registering okay? Please let me know if you have double audio. My mixer is saying I've got double audio, but I don't hear it. So please let me know of that. But we are back in the festival playlist today. A class act for sure. Win a drag race for treasure galore. An old challenger approaches. So I have to get an. So I'm guessing I have to put that challenger in A class and win a drag race with it. Okay, well that's easy enough. Let's go to the festival, since there's a drag strip right there. Alrighty. But yeah, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, I am feeling okay tonight. A little bit of a sore mouth. My gums are quite irritated from the dental adventures today, and I'm a little achy. <sighs> but overall, feeling pretty relaxed and vibey, so it's nice to just be, Welcome back, you know, Maverick. relaxed. No, oh, I just realized. Violet, skip shifter race mode. Thank you. All right. Uh, so we need a challenger, I do believe, which is a dodge. I was thinking Hemi Kudo when I went to Plymouth. I need a Dodge. Challenger RT. Yes, please. And what we're going to do is just modify it to be okay at drag racing. In A class. As much as I love this build, actually, I don't like it that much, so we're just going to reset it. Default. There's something very cool about a stock muscle car. I mean, that's got a presence to it, but everything can be a adjusted on. And already it looks more racy and sporty, which I love. If I just put big drag tires on it... Okay. Stance it up. wheels now. I think I want to go with those big ch chunky boy five spokes. Not those. Those, yes. I don't want to put boomer wheels on it. I want it to look good. Mike! Micah! Micah! Are we going to win? I sure hope so, because we need to to unlock the treasure challenge we got to do. So uh, that is the goal, is to win this. How are we going to do it? Well, I think what we're going to do is put a... Uh, what is this? How much power is this? We're going to put a Hellcat engine in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to put a Hellcat in it. Treasure challenge? Yes, I will show you here in a minute. Let me finish building this car so I can show you. Um, put that in, put, uh, drift, race, let's go with a race diff. And 10 speed 7, I think it starts as a stock. We'll go with the race, or wait, I already have a 7 speed, that'll work, that'll work, yeah. So yeah, this, uh, this game has a treasure challenge every week that it wants you to do. There we go, perfect. Ah, I will show you here. 
it's just a way to earn points is what it is. So let me back out, back out again. Hopefully this car will hook and grip a little bit. I'm gonna have to dial it in, but what you need points for? It's dry oh. season out there, which means Oops. two things. Hang on. Uncomfortable snow sledding on the volcano, and this week it's 20 points for the 1992 GMC Typhoon. It's kind of oh, yeah. like the GMC Cyclone, but more tropical. Heck yeah, that's what we're after. So here's what we need points for. This is the festival playlist. I think you guys have seen this before. This is the weekly like challenges for uh, Forza Horizon. So, the two vehicles right next to my head, you can see my head's over the one right now, that is the GMC Typhoon. It is a GMC Jimmy modified with the powertrain of a GMC Cyclone pickup. That GMC Cyclone pickup, to be specific. So, what we need is to get that, and then the Porsche 911, the 1991 over here. The idea is, is that, you see where it says Season Progress, all, whoops, all of these events over here give us points. You can see there's two points. There's uh, two points. Um, here's three points. This is the treasure hunt challenge. So an old challenger approaches is the treasure hunt name. Treasure clue, a class act for sure. Win a drag race for treasure galore. But you'll notice it says A class. A class act. Is it hard to get enough points? No, it's actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of doing... Think of it like Genshin dailies. It's not actually that difficult. You just got to be willing to do it. So what we need to do for like this challenge, I need to build an A-class car that can go drag racing really easily, which should be able to be done this way. Yeah, I think that'll work. That should work okay, I think. So we just gotta enter this solo. Festival drag. I hope this works. We're gonna have to find out. Ah. Come on, game. Ready? We'll have to see if this works. I don't know if it will or not. pulling? No, looks like we might have them. I don't think anybody's got me. We got it. That should get it. First try, baby. Let's go. 18 seconds. Continue. So that should do it because I did an A-class race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope. Let's see if it got it. Treasure challenge complete. Now, I cheat a little bit because I bought the treasure map. So rather than just... Uh, uh oh, yep, right. see, right there it is. It, what, normally there'd be a big like area around it where you have to go look for it. Uh, but since I purchased the treasure map way, way back when I bought this game, um, it just tells me where it's at. And it'll usually give me points. And it, also you get a treasure as well. Treasures, the friends you made along the way. No, no, not. No, this is actually treasure this time. Ow. Nailed it. Forzathon points. Nice. Alright, so let's go and first things first, let's see what's in the Forzathon shop. Those Forzathon points can be spent here in the Forzathon shop. So, like, we can get the Donut Media Yellow Jumper. 
which we definitely want. Karaoke emote, eh. The Holden Tirana A9X, but I don't. I already have one. And the Koenig's a Gesco, which is a great deal for 700 Forzathon points, but I already have one, so I don't need it. So now we should need, what, nine points for the Typhoon? Perfect. So let's get the GMC Typhoon by doing the trial. That's ten points. It's the most points you can get. Um, and we need a Datsun 510 in B class. So let's go build one of those. Um, let's go to my favorite house over here. This is my favorite house in the game, La Cabana, because it's just so vibey and chill over here on this side of the map. It's like, if I lived at Horizon, I would live here. Like, cute little ranch house with a little driveway. Look at this. This is so cute. I would live there. I would totally live here. Right off the ocean? Like, are you Pacific? Are you kidding me? This is a gorgeous area of Mexico, and I love it. Tell me you wouldn't live here. I mean, come on. That's such a cute little house. Is that a Dodge? Hey, Roa, yes, that was a 1970 Dodge Challenger that we just finished a drag race with to complete the uh, treasure challenge for this week. And I quite like the look of it. I think I made a very aggressive looking Dodge Challenger for um, what was in essence a quick challenge. It's the Green Saber. Green Saber. Hmm? Are you talking about my old car, Saber? The dirt car? Or are you talking about the Saber from GTA? Sorry, San Andreas reference. Okay. I didn't know that the... Because the, I say the Saber in GTA 5, the Declassy Saber is actually a Buick G, uh, GSX is what it's loosely based on. Well, let me see. It should be in this game. Buick. Yeah, the Saber is based on the Buick GSX in the new GTA 5. I thought that's what you were referring to. Uh, that may... Okay, I didn't know they looked like the Challengers back in... Uh, San Andreas days. I just learned something. How about that? So I need a Datsun. 510. I only knew it was a muscle car. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, the Buick G uh, GSX is kind of a forgotten vehicle. It's loosely based on like that or a Pontiac Le Mans kind of thing. Maybe an old uh, Chevy Monte Carlo, like a 75, 76 area. They weren't very popular back in the day, so you probably didn't hear much about them. They're not the big names that you know and love. They're uh, much lesser known. Ah. But you're good to see you, Ro. What have you been up to today? How's life treating you? What's going on in your world? Anything interesting? Uh. Wow, I hate it. Yeah, we're just going to go full try hard on this build. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Tell a lie and hurt you. You have 103,000 points. Are you kidding? Holy crap, bro. Thank you for watching so much. I know you lurk pretty frequently, and I really appreciate it. That is insane, bro. Thank you, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, what do I have? Because I have, inf I, I actually enjoy playing with this because I have infinite points as the streamer. Oh, did I? I don't think I showed you guys this one. I added this one. This is Phil. Phil. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love my sound effects. They're fun. I need to use them more often. I don't use these as much as I should. <laughs> Roa, I love that June emote. That thing is like the perfect little like hype emote. I'm just like, ah! I can hear her doing that. <laughs> Wait, 103? I only have 13k? Yeah, Monk, you also redeem a lot of stuff too, though. Let's be fair. Let's be real. You redeem a lot more stuff. Roa doesn't redeem often. 
Yeah, my point exactly. That's why you don't have 103,000. <laughs> oh, but seriously, I just appreciate you guys stopping in and hanging out with me. You know, it's it's always fun to have people people in the chat to talk to and vibe with and you know, it it, it makes streaming worthwhile. All right, we need a good set of wheels for this little car. <laughs> Um, what can we get? Ooh, yeah, those will look good. Okay, so we definitely need better suspension. Oh, yes. And we definitely want all of the weight removed from it. Now we can work on an engine. Ugh. Oh yeah, you know it, Monk. I'm going to be uh, turning this crazy little car into a little racing machine. Or as the Germans would say, Das Maschine. I think that's what the... I don't know for sure. You can RB swap this thing? What? For those of you who don't know... The 2.6 liter I6 TT, which you can see if I lean over here, that's the engine that I'm putting, that I could put in this car. And the one I'm currently revving. Um, you know, it's funny you say that, because this car could probably actually do a flip in terms of a wheelie backflip if I put that engine in there. That is what the engine out of Godzilla, the R32 to R34 Nissan GTR. That is an insane motor for this tiny little car. But what we're going to put in instead, because this bumps us up how much? 116 horsepower into the B-Class, which is exactly what we need. Godzilla vs. King Kong, who you got? Um, who would I have? Um, I would have uh, the original Gundam is who I would have in that fight. Because that's who I would insert if I got my choice. Godzilla versus King Kong versus the original Gundam. And I would also throw in Optimus Prime and Voltron for good measure. Just because I think it would be interesting to see who see who comes out on top. Godzilla wins. Da -da 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 -da. A Gundam would be decimated by Godzilla. Okay, probably, but at the same time, it would be fun to watch still. Like, I think, okay. Ooh, there's a good idea. Put Streletzia up against it. A Gundam is only 18 meters tall. Then put up Streletzia against it. I would, I would, I would be interested to see how Streletzia fares. I think that would be... Very interesting. Godzilla's way higher. Oh, okay. The, how tall is Godzilla? Is it about 300 feet tall? Is Godzilla about 300 feet tall? I hope. I don't know how tall is Streletzia. I wonder if... How tall is Godzilla, though? That's what I want to know, because I have another idea of what could be really good. Oh, wow. I can't go much with power, can I? Godzilla is 108 meters. So that's about... Uh, yeah, 100 meters is about 300 feet. So that's pretty close. So let's put up the uh, Power Rangers Thunder Megazord against Godzilla. Now that's a fight. Because the Power Rangers Megazord is about 100 meters... T is about 100 yards tall. 300 feet, which is about... That's within a few yards of Godzilla. I mean, that's that's close. And I think that would be an interesting fight to watch. The Thunder Megazord um, versus Godzilla. I think that would be really cool. What is this feedback I'm getting? Oh, is it because my cable's caught? I bet you my cable's caught, isn't it? Give me a second. I got a cable problem here. There, I got it. Okay, let's see if that helps it. 
Okay. Yeah, I... Hey, Bunny, thank you for the hydrate. I got a big old thing of water right here. Hello, hello, welcome in. Hang on a second. No gamer subs right now, just straight water. Our Franks and Darling and the Franks is 85 meters. Okay, so I can see... That would be a good three-way battle then. Streletzia from Darling and the Franks versus the Thunder Megazord from Power Rangers versus Godzilla. I would want to see that battle. Or even a tag fight with the two mechs versus Godzilla. I think that would be cool. And thank you for the hydrate again, Bunny. I did get that, so we are uh, we are hydrated. Ooh, in a stretch. Whoa. See, you make, me, you make me stretch, Bunny, and then I mash my... I hit my mic with my hand and... Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Thunder Megazord, 62 meters. What? That... I was in misinformed. Kind of weird to see Megazord and Franks next to each other. Well, okay, that's the whole point of fantasy. and It would also be weird to see... Um... I don't know, Superman actually fight Goku, but it's been done before, you know? Ugh. Okay. Oh, thank you for the stretch, buddy. Much appreciated. Ah. Fun fact, in a battle of Superman versus Goku, Superman always wins. Because in a fight between... As I heard it said, in a fight between somebody... With no limits, and somebody who can up overcome all limits, only one had limits to begin with. There's a tall common Rider? There's a common Rider that's that tall? Seriously? Like, what? That's crazy. I can't believe there's a common rider that's that tall. That's wild to me. Custom tuning, only 40 meters though. That's still pretty freaking tall. Common rider J. Never heard of that common rider before. Although I cannot say I'm surprised that that's thick. There's always one. Race transfer. I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Dang it. Uh, oh wait, what if I put a roll cage in? Will that slow it down? Wait, I'm weighed down. I can just what, add some weight. We're fine. Bingo. He's 90s? I mean, that's impressive for somebody in their 90s to be 40 meters tall. That's impressive in general, much less somebody in their 90s. And before anybody says it, I know. I'm kidding. I know. I know. <laughs> I know you meant his show is from the 90s. I just wanted to be a smartass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's too easy. You set that one up for me, Roa. I mean, come on. I had to take the option when I saw it. Alright, we'll put 6.8. Springs on the low, low. Oh, man. It's nice to be just be vibing with you guys. This is fun. Uh, Bunny, what did you... I asked Roa what he was doing today. What did you get into today? And Roa, that... I can't believe... I still can't believe there's a common rider. It's 40 feet tall. That's kind of crazy, but also kind of cool, because you would never expect that. Like, that's just massive. Hmm? Oh, wait, I forgot. You had that... You got a second... Uh interview on that job today. That's what you did. I remember you told me about that. Did you do anything else? Uh, tires. Let's get those tire pressures down. Let's get them around 21. Yeah, that'll work. Control our springs damping. Okay, that should be... That should work. Did chores, then lazed about. Jealous. I want to just do chores for the morning and lay around. That sounds nice. This sounds like a way more relaxing day than I had. There's all kinds of common riders. 
There's also one that's called Moomin Rider, who I'm not sure if he's of relation or not, but him and his bike can really kick some ass. Or rather, get their ass kicked. This isn't a different genre, isn't it? Could have done more, but was told the rest. That's okay. That's a good thing. You definitely shouldn't be pushing yourself too hard. Uh, especially, like I said, you said you weren't... I saw you, you posted that you weren't feeling well the other day, so... That's a good thing that you weren't pushing too hard. He's inspired by Common Rider? Wait, seriously? I was kidding. That's funny. I was joking. Blood sugars are all over the place. I was shaky and dizzy. Ooh, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's definitely rest. You need to rest. That was, that's a smart thing to not overdo your, to overdo it. But I'm alert now. I'll be around. Okay, thanks for hanging out, bunny. I appreciate you lurking. Bruh. I missed two hundred and fifty and three hundred thousand dollars on his wheel spin to get a thousand. That sucks. Uh, I didn't know he was inspired by Common Rider Roa. Oh, that's news to me. That's really cool though. High sense of justice rides a bike. Very Common Rider. Well, I get the high sense of justice. I mean, they are Common Rider does have that like Power Ranger aspect to them, where they all have that sense of justice. But I didn't realize that riding a bike was a big Common Rider thing. I mean. Sure, all Power Rangers at some point usually get a motorcycle or a dirt bike or something, or something akin to that. But I didn't realize riding a bike... Like, a bicycle is a common rider thing? I didn't know that that was common. It seems very odd to me. All riders have a bike except one. Well, I'll be damned. I never would have guessed that. Motorbike, rather. Okay, that... So that, that's why Moomin Rider is like kind of a parody of... I take it Moomin Rider is a parody of Common Rider since he rides a pedal bike and kind of sucks in general. Parody, right? Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Like, because, call me crazy, but Moomin Rider does not seem like the best of characters. So I'm figuring, like, he's got to be almost a parody at that point. Like, there's no way. There's no way that they're taking that seriously. Whoa, I don't want to go there. Um, where's the trial at? One of the riders rides an NS... So some of them get cars? You ride a Honda NSX? That's sick. Are you talking a bike? Only one. Okay, so they do get, they do get a car then. That's awesome, man. I wish. That's absolutely rad. Okay, so it goes there. Alright, let's do it. They're all street races. That's sort of interesting. Though it doesn't look like the same car anymore. Can you send me a picture of that? I kind of want to see it now. I'm curious. Heavily modified outside. That still sounds absolutely rad. I'd drive a heavily modified Honda NSX. Are you kidding me? I don't care if it looked like a toddler designed it. That'd still be sick. Much less for, like, a TV show. You know they did something at least... You know they at least tried with it. I mean, come on. That'd be awesome. Whoa. How the heck did you post a... Hyperlinks are supposed to be off. How'd you do that? Whoa! What? That's rad as hell! Yo! What? Dude, that's sick. I would drive the crap out of that, bro. That's rad. It's called Trideron? Am I saying that right? Trideron? Yeah. Trideron. You got it. That's... Dude, I love that. I would drive the crap... I, I'd roll into every car show cosplaying Common Rider if I could get my hands on something like that. That'd be absolutely dope as hell. I'd, oh, man, that'd be sick. Like, what? Yeah, that'd be... Roa, Roa, Roa coming up with stuff making me want to act up. Like, that's sick, dude. Oh, man. 
speaking of cars that are actually uh, getting me, uh, getting my brain going, the common rider who drives it is a cop. A cop drives that? What? Are you kidding? Bro, that might be the that might be the coolest cop since that one in Redline. Um, oh, what what's his name? Oh. What a Chad. That's cool, dude. That's really freaking cool. <laughs> Hell yes, bro. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that's that's sick, bro. Heck yeah. I I quite like that. Uh oh. Hang on. I, I gotta focus up for these. These trials are hard. So if you'll have to excuse what why is everybody parked like this? What's happening? Oh god. Alright. We're all in the exact same car. We're all tuned into around the same area. So this has all become a uh, this is all a test of skill at this point. Let's see how we do in the all-black Datsun 510. I've put most of my stats into handling. They'll run away from me on the straights, most likely. What is this, NASCAR? A little bit, kind of. This is a trial event. So what it is, is that everybody is expected to drive the exact same car this week, but we are all uh, also, well, there are some who have driving skill and there are some who don't. Get wrecked, loser. Let's see, they all have to break and I don't, which means I'm about to catch them up big time. Woo -hoo -hoo! Watch me go. Right up, battling for the lead already. Come on. Come on, little Dotson. Come on. I'll tell you what, that Helson OP is, uh, well, he's OP. Oh, and we're going. The rhythm driver strikes again. Come on, little Dotson. Break early, break early. Oh, he slung it wide. But I did too. I didn't gain any ground on him because I misjudged it. I was following his line. That braking zone does not give you enough space. Wow, he's got way more pull out of the corners than me. Hi, Eraser. How's it going? I'm battling. I'm trying to get to the lead in this trial right now, and I'm absolutely ripping it. But I've got third place right up my trumpet, and I've got a boatload of drive guitars chasing me down. Come on, little car. Go. Just chill at the moment. You, you just heard it. I'm trying to keep the hammer down here. I don't think I put enough gear in this car to make it go any faster. I might have screwed up my gearing a bit, but come on, little car. This thing's maxed at 121. That's all she's got. I am dead flat out right now. Whoa. I'm hoping I can catch him in the slow corners, but he's just got more hot top speed than I do. I probably could have sacrificed a little on the tires, but that's where I caught everybody. Yeah, I'm definitely out of the power band right now. Found a website for everyone to watch Common Rider shows? Yo, DM that to me, Baroa. Send me that link. I would love to watch some Common Rider. I've always thought it was interesting. You are always talking about it and stuff, just use an ad block. I'm usually on either Chrome or Opera GX, so I should have one built in already. But I'll make sure I get a, I'll make sure I got an ad block. Oh, he overshot! <laughs> but yes, please send that my way. I totally want to watch that. And we get the silver medal. Not bad for a first build. Finished second. How'd that kid in third do? Did he make it? No, he got fifth. We're going to lose this. No, I'm going to have to do this all over again. Unless we can win the last two. 
I'm hoping for a rhythm track. I need a more rhythm track. That was more top speed. Jeez, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Ooh, there's 9th. There's 10th, 11th, and 12th got DNF'd. Wow, look at that. Sent you the link. Thank you so much. I will check that out after stream. Because I definitely want to be watching that. That's That'll be awesome. What is with... They're on off-road tires? What? How is that working? I have no idea. I was going to ask you guys, do I have any double audio problems with, the, like, the not me, but the game audio? Are you guys hearing double of the game at times, or is it okay? It was Kamen Rider Drive, but you can just search the site for Kamen Rider to see other series. Okay, cool. It's a meta car for dirt. Yeah, but this is street racing, racer. It sounds all right. Okay, awesome. I just wanted to make sure. I was worried it wasn't going to work right, so. Jeez, fast track. How long is this going to take? I'll bet you the one who was server host quit because we lost that. And dirt and street tires have the same grip? Interesting. They must have just brought their dirt build, then. I'll tell you what, it's bloody quick is what it is. We got a tighter technical track. Okay. I think I can make this work to my advantage. I'm faster through the I'm faster through the flow corners. I put better tires on so I can hold the lines better. Jesus, these two in the back. These phase vessels are absolutely awful drivers. My point exactly! Tries to take out his teammate. What an absolute... I'm reporting those if I get a chance. Those phase... That phase vessel was an absolute... Uh, biffer. I'll be polite. Like, who drives like that? Come on. Oh, crap. That was too wide. I messed up that corner. Yeah, I know. It's like, could you make it any more blatant that you're trying to push me off track? Come on, people. Come on. Come on. They're all going to break too much. Oh, and he's making a hole in the guardrails for me. Nice. Ah! And I get, up, I get past Ferris Bueller. Let's go. Screw you, Ferris. Get back in your dad's Ferrari. It's going to be faster. Lazarus here pushing the limits of the grip. Whereas I'm a little more technical. <laughs> yeah, I was like, watch this drive guitar absolutely screw my lineup. Yep, sure enough. Like they always do. Drive guitar is brainless. Pull, car, pull, pull. I need that rev range. Come on. This is supposed to be an S2000 motor, I think. But don't pull very good for one. Yes, that seems like a racing tactic. Good try there, dum dum. Come on, car, come on, car, come on, car, come on, car. I gotta be honest, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Oh, you gotta really park it on the apex harder. That Fiesta screwed my lineup so bad. I'll never financially recover from that. Force him to the outside. Don't miss the apex and drop back. We'll have to break here. I won't. Yep, we're good. GG. 
that's third. All right, podium both times. Not bad, not bad. Especially for a car that I really, I really didn't tune quite as much. I need more power. I just can't keep up with everybody else. Lazarus 8472. That is a terrible driver, is who that is. So only one gets, uh... Oh, good, it's Phase Vessel. Let him not finish. I don't mind that a bit. Imagine that. The same guy wins it twice in a row. You're playing Forza through Game Pass, right? No, no, this is just Xbox Live. I do not have Game Pass. So I actually own this game, and I own, um... And I own a year subscription to Xbox Live. Because I want to keep this game... I actually can go back and play any Forza game ever because I own them all instead of just having it through Game Pass. Because if you get it through Game Pass and you don't renew your Game Pass, you lose the games. So I didn't want that. I like to keep my stuff. Call me greedy. It's like I hate paying for... It's like rent versus owning. You pay rent, you never get your money back. And you're out the item. You just basically borrowed it. I actually buy it to own it, and it's mine forever. I saw fours on Game Pass. I thought you did. No, it's on Game Pass as like a... Because it's one of the biggest racing games in the world, so they use it to entice people to join. But no, no, I've been buying Forza since Forza Horizon 2. Because I bought 2, and then I bought 1, and then I bought 3, 4, and 5. Ooh. Mmm. Me likey this track. Let's see if we can do anything with the little dots. Hi ho! Let's go! Kind of like how every, kind of like how every Tekken game I buy. Exactly, same kind of thing. Oh boy! Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, that was almost bad. <laughs> Alright, I should be able to out-corner these guys, but not by a ton. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo-hoo-hoo! Almost messed that up something fierce. I overestimated it really bad. Wow, that was dangerous. How do you get the anime decals and wraps here? A lot. You can get them through the livery editor, um, or if you want to, you can just uh, make your own. If you play on PC, there's actually a way to, like, download your own images and stuff. But I'm playing on Xbox Series X, so there's no way to do that. Sadly, uh, I'm kind of stuck. You just have to make your own or use other people's. I can show you. I'll make one. Because my guess is we're going to have to do this again. Whoa! Come on, car. Grip up. I kind of want to make waifu cars. I actually make a bunch of my own waifu cars. I'll show you one of mine, and I'll show you how to make them. They're really easy. You just gotta know the tricks. Come on, Ferris Bueller. Speaking of, there's a waifu car, I think. Ferris Bueller's a weeb. Who knew? <laughs> Come on, little car. Come on, little car. Come on, little car. I saw your Yuko car before. I've done other ones than just that, though. Well, I've actually done several Ryuko cars, but I've also done other cars, too. I don't remember if it was on Horizon 4 or 5, but I had a Cheetah Gay car from uh, Nisekoi. Park it on the racing line harder, buddy. Oh, yes, and it's all slow S's. Or fast S's. This is perfect. This, these kind of corners are where my car thrives, so they'll never catch me. A lot of straightaways, though. I might, I might actually have a problem here. It's like, this corner is nothing for my car, whereas they really have to slow down for it. Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 Yes! I got him at the line! He was showing off, and I beat him! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! He screwed up! 
He was showing off and I whooped him. That's why you don't do that kind of crap. Right there. Show off at the line. Get wrecked, moron. Come on, let's go. Your boy takes a whoop. I went 2-3-1 for finishes in the trial and helped to win it. What a show it. We get a crappy Audi station wagon for all of that. But more importantly, now we get dun 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 the typhoon. The GMC typhoon. Turbocharge your commute. Uh, all right. So for those of you who don't know what the GMC Typhoon is, let me introduce you. And we'll go make a waifu car. I'll use this to drive back. So this is the GMC Cyclone. A small, uh, a, what we call a mini pickup truck. Um, or a small pickup. Isn't turbo bad for a daily car? Kind of yes and kind of no. There are benefits and detriments to it. Um... Turbo is bad for dailying a car in terms of reliability and longevity. However, it can also help boost fuel economy and performance. So there's trade-offs. You get better performance, you get better fuel economy if you tune the car right. Um, like, there are eco-turbo uh, ways of using a turbo. Um, but in this sense, this was actually a commuter car, like a GMC Jimmy, that they went... You know what? Let's stuff a Buick Grand National engine in it. So this is a 3.8 liter. I think a 3.8 or a 4.3 liter. I can't remember. It's either a 3.8 or a 4.3 liter V6 all-wheel drive with a thumping great turbo under the hood. And if you'll actually... Looks 2000s. Uh, it is late, early 90s, 92. So they were a little ahead of their time with the styling. But it can do this. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like much, but these are some of the coolest cars. You telling me it can do that IRL? Yes, it can definitely do that IRL. This is a bone stock version of the car as it would have been off the showroom floor. Matter of fact, I can prove it. Where's my cursor? There it is. Um, GMC tie. Yep, here it is. Um, give me a second. Hey, that's my Steam. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, yep, so this is a stock all-wheel drive GMC Typhoon. Wow, sick video quality, bro. This is just a random YouTube video I looked up, by the way, so. But yeah, I can totally do that. Okay, buddy, you're being a little abusive at this point. Like, you should probably stop. Oops. He's dizzy. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty funny. So, yeah, that's the GMC Typhoon for you. <laughs> Picking up the kids after these sick donuts. Oh, yeah, you know it. Yeah, the GMC... That's why these trucks were so sick. I wonder if I can find uh, GMC Cyclone. There it is. Uh, where's it at? Oh, yeah. Here it is, the Cyclone and Typhoon. This is the video to watch from Donut. Um, but yeah, here's the... Uh, oh, no, that's actually different. Um, yeah, look how fast this thing is. 
So here's a, dr a standing drag race between the two. I don't know if this is copyright or not, so I'm going to keep talking over it. But that is a Firebird Trans Amp. Look at that thing pull! What? Keep in mind, these are two stock cars. Oh, it's, I take that back. It's got a turbo upgrade on the truck. How? F Look at that thing go! What? When it was new, the GMC Cyclone and the GMC Typhoon were some of the fastest accelerating cars on the planet. They actually accelerated faster than Ferrari. Yo, I wish. What? 2023 GMC Sierra Cyclone. I wish, bro. Oh, man. They're just such a cool-looking little truck. Like, they're awesome. I would totally have one of those. What the heck was that? That's a crazy truck. Yeah, that is the GMC Cyclone. Which I actually have in this game, too. So we'll get those out, and I'll show them off a little bit, because I really have fun with these. So. But that is the... That is this vehicle. That is the GMC Cyclone. And the Typhoon. Well, this is the Typhoon. So the Cyclone and Typhoon are exactly the same, except one is an SUV and one is a pickup truck. That's the only difference. These are actually built on the same chassis and platform. Whoa. They are four-wheel drive. And I do have... I need to see this truck in an action movie. You won't ever see one, unfortunately. If they are, they're a clone, because the original Cyclone and Typhoons are very rare, and mostly collectors have hoard them now, so you can't get your hands on one. Buying one is like twenty dollars to $40,000 for one of these things, and it sucks, because I would totally have one. But what I would do, I would love to buy one of these and just, like, rock the... Uh, like a uh, base model and just build one. Vin Diesel get in on this? I know, right? Like, this is... This is what Fast and Furious should... Have. Like, this is what they used to drive, was cool stuff like this. And yes, I can control the car that well, because it drives that nicely. Never touch the door. Alright, so... First things first, I've already upgraded one of these. So I'll show you what the... Uh, what the this is what the Cyclone can do. I think, did I switch this thing to... This is. It, I switched it from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. And I kept the stock engine and I just upgraded it. So this is what happens if you upgrade this car a little bit. Same vehicle, just different body. Whoa! She's a little bit drifty because I got plenty of power now. But yeah, that's 120. Whoops. I'm not used to driving in this view. These little trucks will boogie for what they are. And this is not even maximum upgraded. This is just me tuning the car up a little bit. That's 150. In a pickup truck. And of course, my custom paint job on it. The Cyclone SS Z71, because that's what I would have. Which, now that I think about it, Z71 are all four-wheel drives. So I probably should have left it two-wheel drive. I should, probably should have left it four-wheel drive, but whoops. Where's the player house here? I know it's here. I'm lost. Hang on a minute. I gotta find where I'm going. Oh, it's up further. Whoops. Okay. I'll just jump there now. Alrighty. We'll jump to the player house here. But yeah, that's that's what they can do. So let's build the uh, Typhoon into an anime car. Why not? I'll show you how it works. Alrighty. Um, first things first. Let's get back in the Typhoon. Roa, do you have a character you want to do? 
Uh, has to be like a more major anime character, because if it's anything niche or hard to find, we may not find uh, vinyls for it. Uh, and also, if, if we want, we can theme it on a color or we can pick a color for it. Kind of up to you, but if you if I want to show you, I'll gladly build something and show you what's possible. Uh, oh, excuse me. Wow. Good gracious. That is not pleasant. Um, first things first, let me build this thing up. Let's go for a A-class all-wheel drive grip build. I think that'd be a good way to build this. So... Uh, oh, you know what I should do? <laughs> I wish it... I, I wonder if it'll be good enough. Let's actually build this thing for Sadie's time attack. S2 925. Let's see if we can make it happen. I want to see if we can make the... I want to see if we can make the big heavy thing work. That would be amazing. Alright, uh, did that, do I actually like that look? I I don't think I want that. Let's go upgrade on the rear only, and let's keep the front smaller, that way it gives, like, the wheelie look. Yes! There we go. Now it's a, now it's a sport vehicle. Heck yeah. I don't mind that. And I don't mind that, and we're going to need them both, so let's do it. Uh, we definitely need bigger wheels, or fatter tires, I should say. We need better looking wheels. Roa, do you have a preference on anime characters? What do you got? I'll show you how to build this uh, crazy car. Ooh. Fan blades? Look good on this. Put it on the same wheels and put the other one on. Um. Are you trying to start? <laughs> I don't know who um is. <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> All right. There's too many characters. I mean, pick one of your favorites. We'll see if we can do it. Horsepower is at 1750? What? That's a lot of power. That's a lot of power, Carl. Uh, something a bit old then? Alright, let's see what we got. That's a NASCAR engine. Let's try that. Lacus Klein from Gundam Seed. Alright, we'll see if we can come. We'll see if we can find him. Let me finish doing the performance stuff to it, because we'll definitely need to have this thing beefed up for what we're going to do. Um, clutch, yes please. Transmission, 8-speed. We're going to need all the gearing we can get. Race diff. This truck looks so perfect at a beach. I know, it's kind of like an old woody station wagon, isn't it? I love this thing. These are, one of, these are some of my favorite vehicles. If we rim it up just a little bit and make it, like, the way it sits on the beach, it just looks... These things look... I love these cars. They, they're such a cool vehicle. It looks at home there. I, I agree, it really does. Alright, so we can't quite make uh, the... It won't be in Sadie's Hill Climb, unfortunately. We can't make that kind of power. So, what we can do, though, let's see, apply vinyls, let's see if we have, whoops, no, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want. A, apply vinyl, now I can search. Okay, Lakeus Klein. I don't know if I'm going to find that character or not. Alright, so, description. L, A, C, U, S. We'll try to search for that first.
Lacus Welt. No. No results there. Uh, I'll try Klein, but I doubt we're going to get anything. Keep in mind, this is the car community. You only get weebs like me um, who only hit, like, okay, there's plenty of zero two or whatever. There's, uh, okay, even Ryuko Matoi doesn't have many options. L Y N E. Klein. No results exist. Ray Ayanawi? Now, Ray, I know, will be in here. That is a good one. Ray. And we're probably going to get some Ray Hino from uh, Sailor... Uh, yeah, Sailor Moon. But yes, we have options for Ray Ayanami. So, what we're going to go first is go back. And every good paint job starts with its base. Paint group one, so let's go with her, like, light blue. And then, actually, the silver kind of works, doesn't it? Let's get these wheels chromed up. So I don't want to lose the classic muscle. Weeb Dad brings his kids to the beach? Hell yeah. I hope that's me and my wife someday. That'd be sick. I will gladly be the Weeb Dad pulling up to the beach... And a full Atasha with kids in the back seat. Like, hell yes. That would be awesome. I wish. It's like living the dream, man. Alright. Actually, you don't know. Let's. Because we don't have to go red. Let's go blue. Let's match. Matching brake calipers, because you gotta look nice. We'll black out the windows. Everything else looks like it's good on it. So now we got a good start to the base. Oh, wait. I screwed up. Wait, 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 wait. I screwed up because her outfit's going to blend in now. I need to do it backwards with this. Advanced. Paint group 2. Can I change that? Let's do that. Paint group 1. Let's go with the silver and gray on that instead. Um, can I get... I don't know if I can get that silver on the bottom. That might be a bit inconvenient. Is there a way to get, like, silver? I might have to go to, like, a brushed metal or something. I want that silver. Oh, there we go. Aluminum semi-gloss. Perfect. Ste brush steel. That's the look. Yep, 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 yep. That'll work. So I need brush steel on the top. Okay, so advanced paint group 2. Give me that blue. Nice. And then on the paint group 1. No, that looks like crap. That doesn't work at all. Damn it. Oh, that was dis... I thought that was going to work, but it doesn't work. It looks weird when it's backwards. Sometimes you can get away reversing the paint scheme like that to accommodate the uh, character's outfit, so I might have to change the shade of blue slightly so it doesn't blend in with her outfit. Unless I'm already off on the paint job a little bit. Either way... Um, now I always have better luck starting on the passenger side of the car, because that's the way my brain works. Apply vinyl shapes, curated groups, I need to search for Ray. So we need a good picture of her. And I like this one. I think that'll fit well on the car. So all we have to do is when we search Ray... Wait, I'm on the other side of the car, aren't I? So that actually might just work. Let's get a little bit more of her up here. Okay, so if we put her here, 
like so. Supply vinyl shape. We can get back into our other stuff here. Uh, we can put Ava 01. Definitely. We definitely need a bunch of Ava stuff. All over this car. So let's put this back over here. Like so. It's just kind of, you just kind of fill the gaps with what you need. So we definitely know Ray Ayanami is going to be our driver. Because of course she will be. Yo, I want to go to a con like, th oh, in, in a car like this? That would be really sick. Alright, so we put that there. Uh, we definitely need a Nerve logo, right? So let's see if we can get that. Get the black NERV logo here. Whoa, that was too fast. Stop doing that. Maybe I should get on PC so I can make our friends Atasha's. Dude, if uh, that would be really cool. I know Darkwing was doing that for... Uh, he, when he got this game, he made a couple of them like that. He thought it was really cool, but... Um, I, I don't know. He, I think he kind of got bored with the game, I think. But yeah, if you wanted to if you wanted to play this game, PC would be the way to go for you. Because you can make a bunch of... You can upload your own images and stuff. I don't know how it all works. Um, but I know it can be done to where you can... Uh, uh, where you can uh, upload your own stuff like that. It's really, really cool. I'm just doing like a basic one here. I, Ava 01 and O's a double O don't really match, do they? Oops. Yep, layer will be deleted. Let's get another thing on here instead. But yeah, if you wanted to do that, that would be sick, bro. Because then we could, uh, you could like make Atashas and stuff. And you, and you can really get creative with how this stuff works. Like, it's really, really cool how some of this stuff uh, is possible. Ava 01's not raised. Yeah, I just realized that. That wasn't... Uh, I'm like, whoops, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> REI out... <laughs> Why is that a thing? That's funny. Oh, uh, God. Um, I think I'm starting to hit the scuffed stuff now. I do kind of want that. I, I kind of want to have KFC. Maybe I'll try it on Game Pass first. Yeah. Well, and if you ever want somebody to play with, Roa, I absolutely love this game, and I'm always looking for new people to play with. So if you want somebody to show you the ropes, I can gladly, um... That's cursed as hell, and I love it. But I can gladly uh, teach you the ways of the horizon. Um, I have been playing these games since they came out. And, um, well, I should say since almost, since a little before they came out. Lamau KFC. Oh, I know, right? Like, how funny is that? I saw that and I'm like, that needs to be on this car. Now I just have to flip everything. Okay. I love Ray and KFC. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the, the most American weeb thing ever. What do you like? I like Ray Ayanami and KFC, man. <laughs> People are just going to be like, the fucking what? No, come on, no. Oh my god, it's funny. I just need to go half to the forward. And then move it back down and over a little bit. There we go. And yeah, perfect. And that's, that's kind of a scuffed one, because I'm not... If you really want to get, like, in-depth with it, you can get, like, the uh, underlayings and stuff. Well, uh, you've seen my uh, Ryuko one. You can do them to that extent. Uh, let me pull it out here. My really good one's on my Chevy uh, Corvette. This one that I have it on three different cars. Uh, this is my Time Attack car. You can get to, like this level if you want to where you're like 
It's got her with the life fibers and um, all the sponsors and Toyo Tires, Trigger Animation Studios, Weeb, Donut, Senpai, powered by Super Eurobeat. Like, you can go to this extent. But this takes an hour or two to do a car like this. And I'll be honest, that takes a long time. I feel like this is a time sink. It can be if you want it to be. But it also doesn't have to be. If you just want to race, just race. Like, for right now, what I want to do, because I, I do want to get the festival playlist. Here's the other thing. You'll notice I have $90 million in my bank account. You can thank Sadie for that. She has helped me figure out how to make money at this game. What you do... See these cars? Question, does this game have the Dodge Viper GTS? Oh, sweet child, does it have the Dodge Viper? Which, which Dodge Viper do you want? Because it's got them all. I got the GTS ACR from 99, the original one. The 2008 Viper ACR. The 13 Viper GTS. The SRT Viper GTS Anniversary Edition. And the 16 Viper ACR. The 90s one. It's not the convertible red one you're thinking of, but it's the same car underneath. This one's just the better version of it. It's got the hard top, so it's faster and stiffer. Um, and it doesn't, like, flex as much as the convertible. You don't like the convertible one? Yep, then here's your 90s Viper. Oh, do you ever want to see under the hood? Because we can make that happen. Blue with the white stripes is the best. Whoops, I didn't want to get in the car. Let me out of here. We can put blue and white stripes on it. That's no problem. That's just paint job. And there's your thumping great V10. This is your favorite car of all time. Uh, upgrades and tuning. Oops, nope. Let's go... Paint car. There should be the blue and white stripes option. Uh... I guess that's not an option for the GTS. We'll go get one then. I have Hot Wheels of it and other scale toys. Heck yeah. You're looking at this one, I think, is the one you were looking for. This paint job. That's the thing. If you want it, there's probably already somebody who's done a paint job of it. Especially, like, stock paint jobs they forgot to include or didn't include because of the addition. Is that what you're looking for? That's the one? That's what I thought. Let's take it for a drive. Let's drive it over to the other side of the map and tune it up a little bit your way. Absolute beauty. You know it. These are some of the best cars ever made. No driver control systems, no safety equipment. You get a seatbelt, a thumping grade 8 liter V10, and that noise. I modded GTA to change the Banshee to this. Dang, you really do like this car. That's taking it to an extreme. Here's what it looks like inside. Oh god, oh god, don't turn it, don't turn. I forgot it's on stock tires. Big smoky burnouts. That's a little easier to see. Just casually drift in the Viper, you know? But this would be pretty much your view from inside of one right here. These cars are pretty rad. I'm not going to disagree with you on this, row. These are sick cars. 
I don't want one because they're not very practical, and I need a car that can be both practical and fun, and these cars are definitely not practical. But in terms of just, like, money is no object, sheer coolness, hard to beat a first-gen Viper. These things have a... they got some riz to them that not many other cars have. It's a... You have arrived at your destination. It's a sweet ride, isn't it? Would you want to do anything to this? Change the wheels? Make the exhaust a little louder? Or just make it sound a little different? Like in terms of, uh... Dodge's legacy? Oh yeah, you know it. Yeah, it's hard to turn down a good, uh... One of the best whew, American supercars of all time. No idea what to do with it? Well, let's see what's possible then. Because you can, it's Horizon. You can tinker with everything. That's the beauty of the Horizon. Nothing is off limits and everything is up for grabs. like that for getting off the highway. I like it as it is too much. Well, then let's not do anything crazy to it. Let's just maybe up the... Let's maybe just refine it a little bit. Let's make it... Let's dial it in. Because I can tell you right now, it could use a little bit better. The gearing is not the best for driving. It's a little sluggish because the gearing's set for high speed. So let's modify it a little and see what we can do. First things first, exhaust. Stock. Or. Get rid of that tinny noise in the exhaust. Makes it like. Here it sounds muffled. That's, I think that's a lot better this way. What do you think? Also, Roa, I'm just going to open a Discord call if you want to jump in with me. Uh, where's my... Oh, that's why. I'm in general if you want to chat, Roa. Uh, ow, my freaking ankle. That hurt. That hurt. What is this ping that I have? Oh no, literally it's just that. Okay, never mind. Hi. Hey, Ro, how's it going? Doing alright. Good. Whoa, your PFP's really big. <laughs> I took off because that's uh, reactive. I forgot yep. to put that in one. Oh, it's all good. That's I just I forgot I had to. I I was like, oh, I gotta move that. That's very large. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna move you down with me. Perfect. But yeah, what do you think? You like that new exhaust better or? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about cars. If it makes it faster, then it's stupid. Well, it's, for exhaust, it does make it a little quicker. But for exhaust, you're looking more for sound. The exhaust changes the way the car sounds, the attitude the engine has, the noise it makes. It does sound more powerful with the other one. With the the new one or the old one? Yeah, the new one. Okay, we can stick it's with like that. It's screaming more. Now, Ooh. camp... Camshaft changes both the performance and the sound of the car. Can you hear right now? Or can you hear the game? I don't know if yeah, you... I can. Okay. So you can hear stock cams and valves. Now listen what happens if I bump it up to the race cams. You hear how that engine revs higher before it stops? 
yeah. So stock. There's a good example of it. Okay. I'm I don't not really a car person, so I don't know if that's good or not. The faster the engine spins, the bigger the torque band, and the longer the car is going to be able to make power when you're pulling down the road. So this car, not, well, okay, right there, it makes 90 more horsepower than stock by adding those cams. Oh. Okay. You can kind of hear, listen how short it revs. You this, yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. Versus when you put the big cam in, you hear, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, da, 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 da. And it, like, it gets higher pitched, but it also makes it take longer to get to that rev range, which means it has more engine to work with, basically. It enhances the power of the stock motor. Um, okay. Second thing we can do, put big brakes on it. That'll just make it drive better. You can't really... There's no real visual difference unless I paint the calipers, but it's going to make it stop a lot quicker. Okay, height. We can actually lower it just a little bit to help its attitude. It's not much. only goes down about... What, about an inch? If I really dump it. But it can go down a little bit. And that'll help it handle better. And we can actually get it all the way down to this height without having the stupid camber in the front. I can make it do this without the tire tilt. Uh, what else can we do? Hey, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. How's it going? Hey, CD. We can put uh, a big splitter on it if you want. Say, uh, have you picked the 925 car yet? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Why? Okay. When is lock-in? Lock-in is due July 31st. Okay, so I still got the month. We're fine. I have no idea what are you guys talking about. That's for her <laughs> next hill, or for her next time attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you see where up at the top of the screen it says A71799 Viper? Okay. A717 is this car's current performance index as it sits in my oh, garage. Okay. So when the she higher says... The better? Uh, yes. The higher it is, the faster of a car it is. So the lowest this game registers is D-Class 100. Those are the slowest cars in the game. They'll struggle to reach the speed limit. Um, okay. X-Class 999 is the highest... And those are actually considered unlimited cars. So once you hit a certain point, it's into X-Class, and any upgrades beyond that do not change the PI index, and it's just that bonkers fast. Um, and then, what is it? I think D-Class ends at 500, and then you go to C, which ends at 6, B, which ends at 7, A, which ends at 800, and then S1 is... Nine, uh, 800, yeah, 900. S2 ends at 998. And then 999 is, of course, the X-Class cars. Okay. Well, it's impressive it goes to 80, then. Oh, yeah. An A-Class car is a very good middle-tier car for a stock vehicle, especially one from 24 years ago. A-Class is nothing to scoff at from a twenty, almost 25-year-old car. That is good, solid results from that vehicle. It's what you call a uh, sport or a pro tutor spec. Pretty much, yeah. Do you want? Do we like the spoiler it, Roa or no? It would look like the. It would remind me of the. Um, isn't there like? What's it called? The Timo Reca version. <laughs> uh oh! Like the. Like tour, was it a touring? I don't. Know. Yeah, it probably was a touring car back in the day. That would make sense. You want to stick yeah, with it the? It would remind me of that. Do you want do you? Literally is that a good thing? Nah. No, without it. Okay. No, it's not. No worries. We can do without that. Let's get some better tires on it. Now we do have an option. We can have letter tires, red line tires, or just nothing. Wait, what? Whoa! Hi, Sadie. Uh, see how the tires have letters or a red line on them? 
uh, I mean, do they mean anything? Or just appearance? Just appearance. They're all the same. I can actually get better tires without. But these are like the... Okay. Like the good quality tires that aren't like... These are good... These are like racing tires, basically. They're racing tires uh, that perform well in the rain. Yeah, that's what you call inters. Pretty much, yeah. Because they're... They, um, we do have... We, groove edges. we do have full or, racing slicks, but they struggle in the wet. So these are like the race tires that can handle all conditions. Okay. And you j if they're all the same tire, it literally doesn't change a thing about the car. It's just if you want red line, raised white letters, or nothing. Are you teaching Ro about the cars? A little bit. Well, this or is his favorite car, so I'm helping him build one. Because he was thinking about you? getting this game. Uh, it's a 99 Viper ACS or ACR GTS. It's really nice. It's really nice to cruise at, but uh, it's not the best. Yeah, it, it's not the best for racing in this game, unfortunately. But I'm helping him build one stylistically. You can never go wrong with the with the uh, three piece, uh, multi piece, like BBS, like tires on it. Yeah, it's kind of what it's yeah. got. Factory. It is not the best for racing. But I, it, it's a. Oh no 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 because. Remember no, I told you for that. I Roa, I will show you the difference. Um A is good, don't get me wrong. And, but even when you build it to the top of A class, it's not it doesn't keep up with some of the other cars because it's kind of a heavy vehicle. Uh the best racing uh, cars are a little bit lighter. Uh, it's it's a really cool car, but in this particular game it's not a tremendously fast race car. You gotta remember what I took from A class on the first uh, time attack. That's on the uh, expansion map. Yeah, it's a Type Thirty Five C that only had three hundred horsepower, but it only weighed like fifteen hundred pounds. Whereas this car weighs almost three and a half thousand. Or what is that for Roa? Ugh. About uh, uh, convert three thousand three hundred and fifty-five pounds to it's kilograms. About, uh, divided by one, it, it's about like one point five divided by one point four five. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, one one thousand five hundred kilograms. Roa is how much this car weighs. And the Type Thirty Five C is like literally half of that, and just uh, the, the more type, power to weight ratio. Yeah, the Type Thirty Five would be closer to like now actually less than half, probably six hundred kilograms. Is it 700 kg? Yeah, it's 700 kilograms. Did you pick on tires, Roa? Do you want letters, red line, or nothing? Uh, the red line looks good. Red line? Done. Kind of makes it look like a Hot Wheels, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> well, that, that's... You gotta remember, there is a Hot Wheels map. So. That's, that's why the red line tires are in this, Roa. Because the red line tires are the Hot Wheels racing tires. We have a Hot Wheels oh. track expansion in this game, so. Are they good? Oh yeah, they're they're good tires. I'm in like the expansion. It's all it's, right. It's good for the, it, the expansion is good for the first time you're trying to experience it. Yeah, but get, if you're uh, trying to, yeah, if if it's for the long run, not as much. It gets tiring after a bit. It's a lot of mental stuff you have to keep up with. Now, we could pick oh, okay. any of the wheels you see here. And there's actually two more categories of these. So you can keep the stock wheels, or you can go for different looking ones. So you've got six spoke wheels. Uh, we've got really spoky oh. ones. I mean, there's a ton of wheel options. It just reminds me of Underground and Most Wanted. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. This is kind of the modern day equivalent. This is the best you get. Do you have a style oh, yeah, for the? And go ahead. Sorry for the uh, for the for the thing for the uh, group thing. It's uh, Datsun five tens, by the way. I already beat it. Oh. I went. Well. I actually podiumed all three races. <laughs> well, uh, I might need help because I just logged into Forza. So. Okay. Do, you do the uh, five spoke one. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, not you that can... one. I go up. Uh, up. This one? I don't know what they're called. Now go up. And to the right. That one. 
I think I like that one. You like these? Yeah. The ones are, okay. We can do that. We can change the color of them too, by the way. So you're not stuck with the white unless you like that. If you want, if you want them chrome, black, blue, whatever, we can make that happen. Nothing is set in stone other than the color of the tire line. You can't change the uh, red. It stays red. All right. Wait. So, Sadie, you board, you also bought this game? Oh yeah, Sadie playing it on Game Pass. Uh, I think Sadie has the game. She's not on. She's not on right now. By the way, she set her headset down. Oh okay. But I think she has the game. She has it on uh, PC, I believe. I do not. I have it on Xbox because, well, I bought it for Xbox. And then um, I never, I'd have to buy it again to get it on PC. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I already bought the game once. So maybe when Horizon yeah, 6, when Horizon 6 comes out, and I actually just realized, uh, you remember how I said I was going to try to save up for a, uh, uh, uh oh, I got a tracking problem. Uh, you remember how I, whoops, there it goes, there's my settings, hang on a second, bear with me, okay, that got it, I fixed <laughs> it. It's so funky. <laughs> What that facial that facial recognition thing? Yeah, I know. There's like, so I, I know that, but it's so funny. Oh, it's so <laughs> scuffed on, on VTube Studio. It's so scuffed. You guys are little now because I set it up for your original PFP, and now you guys are little. So, uh, tiny, tiny. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Sadie. Uh, when I get the oh, yeah, that's a computer. So when I get Forza Horizon Six, when it eventually debuts. Um, I'm going to try to get it for PC because I have a PC capable of running it now. But I also have the problem that my uh, current PC has that new graphics card in it. Or the old graphics card in it. It's got the 1070. I need a new one. Unfortunately, um, I realized oh, that my... Yeah. Well, my monitors that I use are just a couple of old, smaller TVs. They're not bad TVs. They, they look okay. And they work good. Um, but I, my buddy's like, hey, we're going to get you set up. Literally, my TVs are almost such a low caliber that my graphics card is unable to use them to its full extent. Oh, Jesus. I'm limited to like a 1320 resolution on this TV. And I didn't realize it was that bad. But you can use them as like secondary screens if you ever get like a new one. Yeah, but that's where I need a new TV for like a primary monitor. I need that so I can use it for proper gameplay. So I'm like, oh, okay. It doesn't have to be a TV, though. Well, okay, you get my point. Like a proper gaming monitor instead of a TV. Like, I need, I oh, just, yeah. I always call them TVs because that's what I've always used. But it's like, I actually need a better, like, proper monitor. Oh, that's like 4K, high quality, and I don't have that. I have a bunch of crappy old TVs. Uh, what do you do? Um, Roa, you said you like these wheels, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, I have a couple, because these wheels have a funky feature. Look how far they stick outside the car. Oh, oh, okay. See, that's kind of weird. It does, yeah. Kind of like the tubing. A little bit. Uh, I have a set of wheels very similar to these that doesn't do that. See how they're dished in now? Oh, now it's kind of like caved in. What yeah. Concave? Concave, yes. The, your old wheels were convex. Or they do make like level oh. flush ones that don't poke, but they don't uh, dish in. Like flat ones. Yeah. I think the concave ones are better. Okay. That's why I, I saw that, and I'm like, I didn't know if you saw that, because from this aspect, it's hard to see that. But I'm like, I didn't know if you saw that that or not, because some people like that look. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it looks a bit bizarre that the furthest thing that pokes out of your car are the rims. But, hey, to each their own. You know, some people like that. Uh, I think that's about everything, because we definitely don't want to mess with the arrow. Uh, I already put the cam and the exhaust in it. Excuse me. So let's... 
Oh, that'd be the other thing. Do you want to supercharge it or turbocharge it? What's the difference? Oh, that is a very long and convoluted explanation. So, <laughs> I knew it. turbochargers, or excuse, let's start with superchargers. Superchargers okay. are big air pumps that are driven by the belt on the motor. And it quite literally, by spinning it with the motor, it uses the engine's energy to pack more air inside the motor to make more power. So it uses power to make power. However, the benefit is immediate. There's no lag, there's no delay. It, the faster you rev the motor, the more power you get. And it is now. You get it immediately. And it sounds... Okay, you hear your stock engine. Right? Yeah. Now here's with the supercharger. Hear the little wee wee behind this... Yeah, I think you're doing... The little whine? Tiny whirring sound? Yep, that is the supercharger under the hood. Okay. So, and you see the power graph, how it just rises completely? Whoops. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do see. Now, see the difference between the turbo and the supercharger? See how it's got that dip at the beginning? Oh. Turbochargers use the engine's exhaust to spin a fan. That fan is connected to a different fan on the other side, which does the same thing as the supercharger and compresses air. But because there's no physical connection from the engine's, like, the engine itself to the turbocharger, the turbocharger's just spun by exhaust gases. That means there's no power suck. Turbos actually make power without costing you any power. Oh, it's like rerouting the exhaust. Uh, yeah, what it does is it uses the exhaust to make boost. It, it pressurizes the air going into your engine to pack more air in per gulp of air that the engine takes. It actually packs more air in it. It uh, condenses it. Okay, no different. Okay, you put air under pressure to put it into a tire. There's more air inside that tire than the air outside of it, right? I, I guess... Okay, you fill up a water balloon. Actually, that's a kind of a bad example. You fill up a balloon with air. And you push all of that air into that little tiny space to, to expand that balloon. And that balloon holds that air inside. So there's more air inside the balloon as compared to a same amount of... Okay, you take a balloon-sized shape of air out of the, out of the atmosphere. There's less air in that particular chunk than there is inside of a balloon that's full of air. Like the same cubic area holds less volume because it's packed in. I'm, I don't know if I understood that or not. It's, it's yeah, it's just physics is all it is. That's why tire. Well, I hate physics. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's why tires. That's why you have to have air in tires, otherwise they go flat. The external mm. pressure, or the internal pressure, is the air trying to escape the tire, and it holds the tire up. If you let all the air out, the tire goes flat because it's not strong enough to hold on its own. It needs that pressure to hold it up. Yeah, basically. Same thing with your engine. You can pack more air inside of it, which means you can dump more fuel in with it, which means more air, more fuel equals more power, equals go faster. So Isn't these... Higher the engine? Um, the, yes, to a degree. You have to make sure your engine can handle that extra power, otherwise you'll just explode it. Oh, okay. So that's where, in this game, you don't ever have to worry about it. Even a bone stock engine can handle a turbo, you never have to, you never have to be concerned. In real life, yes, absolutely, you have to make sure your car can handle a turbo before you worry about putting one in. Okay, makes sense. But yeah, these are what we call um, forced induction. Induction is the process of bringing air into the engine. Well, these quite literally force that process to happen. I imagine force feeding the motor. Instead of letting the engine breathe on its own, these devices take and just cram it down its throat and make sure it gets down into the motor, and that way it can dump a lot more fuel, and when it ignites, it makes more power per cylinder per explosion in the, in the engine. 
So yeah, turbos make more power, and they don't sap the engine of power, but they come at a cost it takes a minute for those fans to spool up and go fast enough to create that pressurized effect. Under a certain RPM, the fans don't create enough pressure to make a difference. So we call that turbo lag. Which, if you'll notice, when I actually go to my now wait or just waiting screen, turbo lag, please wait. Ah. Because that's the joke, is that, okay, <laughs> if you've ever seen, like, one of those uh, joke shirts where it says, boost loading, please wait. Like a loading bar. That's because that's the joke, is a turbo car versus a supercharged car. The supercharged car will be out of the hole faster. But the turbocharged car will outdrag the supercharged car because it'll get more boost in the back end. Like acceleration versus top speed, I suppose. Um, very much so, yes. Turbo cars will pull harder and pull for longer, but it takes a minute for it to kick in, where supercharged cars are right now. So, okay, I'm trying to think. Formula One cars... Actually, that's a really bad example. What uses turbo? Um, I doubt NASCAR uses turbo. No, NASCAR does not use turbo. Touring cars? Yeah. Those are just naturally aspirated engines. No turbos, no superchargers. It is just a thumping great V8 that makes eight or 900 horsepower. I didn't know that. Yep, no forced induction, no turbos, no superchargers. NASCAR is pure old oh. school thunder. So you should put turbos on, like, touring or NASCAR. They'll be better? Uh, in theory, they would go faster, yes. <laughs> you wouldn't want them to because they're already so freaking fast, they don't need to be any faster. It would get dangerous. As a matter of fact, okay, when NASCAR goes to, like, Daytona or Talladega... When they're going really, really fast in a circle for, you know, hours on end. Um, they actually put on restrictor plates. Which restricts how much engine air the engine can take in to keep speeds lower um, at those tracks. To, to keep them reined into about 200 miles an hour. If you take the restrictor plates out, they could see as high as 220 before they start coming apart. I didn't know that. But yeah, that's when shit, when you get to two, when you cross from 200 to 220, 200's already pretty flippin' dangerous. You get to 220 and that's when people start getting hurt. That's why they put those restrictor plates in there is to uh, protect the drivers, the fans, everybody from getting hurt. That's quite responsible of them. Yeah, it is. That That's also caused a lot of uh, div division because a lot of the racers back in the day, as well as the fans, wanted to see that chaos. And, um, and the, the racers, well, they didn't want to endanger themselves. They thought it was kind of a joke that the, you know, the racing for speed was being choked out as a safety measure. They're like, we're not even going as fast as we can anymore. You're limiting all of us. And they're like, well, yeah, but, I mean, do you want to die? And they're like, well, no, I guess. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't say the same for people who are strapping, like, rocket thrusters to their cars. I mean, like seed some. oh, there are some <laughs> dumb people out there, but yeah, okay, so the what what it is, okay, if you're on, a, okay, the Bugatti Veyron, or the Chiron, those Bugatti yeah. cars that can do 300 miles an hour, they have a 16... Yeah, scary. Yeah, they have a 16 cylinder engine that carries four different turbochargers. For reference, the Nissan GTR, Godzilla, the monster of uh, Australian touring cars in the 90s, it had a twin-turbo straight six. So the Bugatti added two more turbos and ten more cylinders to get that job done. I wonder if I can find a breakdown of the Bugatti engine so you can see that working. Oops, W16 engine diagram. Oh, Lord. That is just absolutely freaking terrifying. 
these engines are something else. Yikes, okay. Sorry about that, Sergi. I had to do a lot of stuff. Oh no, you're good, Sadie. I've just been talking to Roa here, trying to uh, show him the... Here it is, Roa. These are W16 engines out of like a uh, Bugatti Veyron. 16 what exactly? 16, 16 cylinders. cylinders. The, so here's what the block... One of the most advanced engines that Volkswagen has made. The, anybody in the world has ever made. This is what this engine block looks like. There are 16 different... Okay, for reference, here's a good way to look at it. This is an inline four. There are four little cylinders. There's V6 okay. with six cylinders. This is a W12, which is basically sandwiching two V6s together. W16. No, no, I, I, this is just a W12. So a W oh. uh, a W twelve is two V sixes smashed together, so it's two V eights smashed together to make this W sixteen monster. They are freaking crazy. Oh, what's the firing order on that? If you're ever curious, Sadie, the firing order is one fourteen nine four seven twelve fifteen six thirteen eight three sixteen eleven two five ten. So basically, down up, down up, down up, down up, mid? I think so, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's freaking insane. Yeah, oh yeah, here you go. Here's a W16 engine animation, Roa. You'll get to see it. I'm going to mute this. So this is all the pistons going together on the crankshaft. With the ca That's the camshafts on the top. The spark plugs. Uh, the injectors, the valves. The other camshafts and the other valves. Timing, balance shafts, flywheel, timing belts. God. Jeez Louise. <laughs> that engine is freaking stupid. That's so dumb. Oh, oh yeah. Is it dumb? Because it's extremely complicated. And just the the way it works is... Okay, a normal engine is extremely complicated in how it operates. A V8 is... I mean, there's a lot of moving parts. They took two V8, like, NASCAR engines and sandwiched them together with four different turbochargers. It sounds really complicated. It's, it how do you is. Wire those together. Uh, well, that's the thing. You don't wire them together. They build them together. That's what. Okay, you can see my. Uh, yeah, you, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you can it's see the whole block. Yeah, that's that's what they call the engine block, and what you're looking at there, like this, right? This is a better example of it. Here's four cylinders, and here's four more cylinders. On this side over here. There's another exact duplicate of these. So there are 16 different moving cylinders all firing inside of this engine to make that motor run. Oh, yeah. What do you mean by firing sequence? That's the order in which every cylinder in this engine has a number. So it's which cylinder lights in what order. So Is that I important? Um, yes, because that makes for smooth power delivery, and if you, okay, if the manufacturer just sets it up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the engine will never work right, because um, that would fire, like, all of them in a row, and the engine wouldn't be balanced. It wouldn't operate properly. The engine has to have a spinning rotational mass that stays in balance, which means that if you don't, if you don't okay, let me do this. I don't know if that's a thing. You also can high smasher. V eight high smasher. Engine GIF. Okay, so for example, let's go with this one. This should work good. Yep. Now ah, that's not exactly a good one. That's not what I wanted either. Images. You can see this, right? It's on stream. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. 
So, let's take a V8 like this. Please be a slow one. It's not a slow one. Shit. I need a slow gift. Oh, so you can't just increase the number of Here, like, th pistons. You have to figure out their firing sequence as well? Um, you can increase the number of pistons, but then you have to make them fire right. That's why the Bugatti engine is so complicated. Okay, so look, right here. This is piston one in the front. Two is in the... St uh, if you go down the right side, we'll call these one, two, three, and four on the right side. And then over here, that's okay. five, six, seven, and eight. So if I want it to fire, let's go one, two, three, four... See how the pistons aren't coming up to the top where they need to be? To The piston has to be up here at the top. When it comes up and then goes back down. When it comes up is where it needs to be to fire. Otherwise, the en the piston won't get any uh, push from the explosion and the it'll be pointless. So it has to come up and fire there. But the next piston to rise is not number two. It's number seven. And then so it's the firing order on this engine is actually one... Uh, where's it at? One seven two, one seven two. Eight. That's that's a weird. Um, uh, I don't know if that's based on a Chevy or not. Oh, that's why because I, I numbered I numbered the cylinders wrong. That's why. So okay. Which engine is it? Uh, I think it's. I don't know. It's just a breakdown of a cross plane V eight. So it's uh, it's irrelevant. But, Ro, this tells you how important firing order is. I know as a mechanic, this is one of the things we have to memorize. The most common engine in the world is the Chevy Small Block 350. Firing order 18436572. We have to know that because they're that common. Okay. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, this tells you how common this is. If I type in 18436572 and search it, it's, it's a 184. It? There's a shirt. It's a 18436572 thing. You wouldn't understand. Wait, what? That's a firing sequence for a specific engine, then? Yep, the Chevrolet Small Block 350. Oh, okay. That is the firing order. It's the car guy meme. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's that's the car guy meme. And that's seriously what is it? One eight four three six five seven two. If you don't know what this is, we can't be friends. That's just that's a thing you can order. And if I go to all <laughs> that is serious okay. Hot Rod Engine Tech, American V eight firing orders, one eight four three six five seven two. Buick V Buick V eight. Cadillac up it's to sixty seven. It's like the Konami code, but for, but for cars. Pretty much, yes. This is very much the Konami code for cars. It is that common of a thing. Um, what? Yeah, here we go. Reddit. What does one eight four three six five seven two mean to you? Uh, for a split second, my brain registered eight six seven five three zero nine. Mine went with five eight eight two three hundred Empire today. It, it's a TV. <laughs> it's a TV. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, uh, that's the 8675309 is an old song. Jenny, I got your number. Where he fi he calls oh, the number. Yeah, he calls the number where it, it, it's he's in a bathroom stall and carved into the bathroom stall it says for a good time call this number. And that's the entire thing of the song is he's calling the number. Cuz he's looking for a good time so he's calling the girl's number on the bathroom stall. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, there was an ad for a uh, flooring and carpet company here in America, and that's what it was was uh, Empire. Uh, it was like Empire was the name of the company, so that's what it would be. Is like you know, <laughs> if you need new flooring and carpet in your home, call five eight eight two three hundred Empire today, and that was the whole ad. Um, yeah, uh, what is it? What does it mean to you? V8 firing order. Uh, it's how my baby purrs. Way too easy. V8 firing order. Lo my losing Powerball numbers because people play it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep, somebody right there. What does it mean to you? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. <laughs> 
That's great. Uh, I, it is. It is the uh, fucking Konami code for a car guy. It, real, it really is. Like I said, seriously, as a... I'm an ASE certified master tech in automotive, uh, gas engines, small vehicles. I actually hold an ASE certification as a mechanic. Not to mention I have a two- and four-year degree in automotive technologies and stuff. As somebody who had to take all of those classes and pass all of those tests, I'm not joking when I say that is something they make you learn because it's kind of a thing. You have to know a GM firing order on a small block Chevy. And you better be able huh. to put on the test. I got I got extra credit for that on a test at one point. For, for five extra bonus points... Name the firing order for the small block Chevy 350 in a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RSSS. 18436572. Does that mean almost every engine have their own firing sequence? It, not almost. Every single one has to have a firing order. Every single oh. time. Uh, it, there's the, uh, Every the single engine? engine will have a firing Turbine? order. Yo. Uh, I'm just waiting for you to... Uh, if you're ready. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll sa I'll save what we got here. Let me go. I need to adjust my car real quick before we get too crazy, Sadie. Because I I ice smasher. Yeah, uh, it smashers in my chat. I heard my name. Yes, because you're in the VC. Oh. So. Yeah. <laughs> I. My game not one to load. I'll put that up. <laughs> Hashtag relatable. That's a while. Back in my Xbox One days. I had that problem all the time. <laughs> Back in my NES. <laughs> Let me join you on the channel. I already did, I bet. I, I don't mind doing it again. Just to help. Oh, wait, what are you guys doing then? We're going to do... Remember I raced that, uh, that little black Datsun, Roa? Yeah. Yeah, um, Sadie oh, you're is just gonna do it today. Sadie and Smasher still have yet to complete that, and if you run it with friends, it's easier because you don't get idiots like I had trying to crash you off the track. Well, I mean, I already did it, but I don't mind helping out. Oh, okay. Wait, well, is this... it an online thing then? Like yeah. all players? Yeah, there were six AI controlled players and six um, real life players, and they're just all randomly sorted. Uh, when you go in alone. So I was with five other real people Maybe. who were trying Ooh. to help uh, win the event, and um, because people are stupid, um, they decided that the best thing they could do for me was to try to crash me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hit find team, okay? Uh, hang on, like, ten seconds, please. I'm trying to... F I gotta fix my car. I don't have any power. <laughs> I have power. And that's all I have. I only have, like, <laughs> I only have like 214 horsepower on mine. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I just basically, I just basically tried to balance the car out. I'm not gonna go for a power build. I didn't. I, <laughs> I, I was. I did power build. This is the first time I did a power build. That's fair. I didn't want to go for a power build either, but I also couldn't keep up with the kid who was ahead of me. I mean, he was absolutely blitzing me. Uh. You know, maybe let me try to just adjust my gearing instead. Let me I'm, just uh, remember these things are. You're not even going to pass about 130, 140 miles an hour. So. A, let me just adjust my gearing then, because maybe just a little bit of a gearing change will help me. We'll go to a 364 rear gear in this thing. That should help. I have a uh, 529 horse. <laughs> nice. Of course you're going to do a power build. Oh, it's Smasher! What do you expect? Smasher does what Smasher wants because Smasher is kind of insane. Okay, yeah, Sadie, this thing's already quicker. I'm in. We're good. Oh! Ha ha ha! Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm f also just in time, too. Three seconds. Two, one, zero. Also, it's a screen of it. Good. Are you guys running the wide body? Yeah, I have the wide body. So you this have the wide body on? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm on. I'm here. I'm here. 
Yeah, that that's the that's the point of this challenge, Roa, is that you all have to drive the exact same car, and it's who can who can tune the car in the best. Oh. Okay. So everybody's given the exact same base starting car, or at least you have to go and buy one, basically, and then from there it's who can drive it and tune it the best for their style. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, so it's uh, it's more of a challenge of driver skill and tuning ability than anything else, which is where Sadie Smasher and I are usually pretty good at being able to dial in cars for um, going quickly. Now we all I'm not on B class. Just letting you know, this is not my foray. I'm not into slow cars. Hmm. Let's see. I don't mind slow cars. That's where I find the most enjoyment out of trying to get them to go quickly. And everybody but. Two of us are running the wide body, me and Sadie. And everyone is using a race livery except for me. <laughs> no, no, I'm just in a black I'm, car. I'm the sleeper. I'm the pure sleeper here. I never, I never even took it off the. Uh, you, took you're, it off anything. You're still on that ugly cream paint job too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna the, rock the ugly cream paint job. I'm in the black car. It's just seriously black paint, red window tint, and chrome wheels. Because I wanted to look like an absolute G on the start line. Uh, That's it, go! Alright, so what we have to do, Roa, is see the red names versus the blue names? The red names are the AI drivers. The blue names are real people. We have to try to beat the real... The, uh, we have to work together as real people and beat the red guys. So we're rooting for blue team right now. Ah! Woo! <laughs> almost died! I almost died! Whoa! God, coming inside! Coming inside, Smasher! Sorry! <laughs> I got a absolute push up the rear. Oh, I, I had somebody right up my trumpet. I'm not good at this track. I'm actually okay because I raced it earlier, so I know what it's. I know what kind of where to go, and I know right where they have to break, and I don't. Yeah, I hate when the drive guitars get super OP like that. Come on, little car. Come on, little car. Come on, little car. Go ahead and pass me if you have a higher top end. Uh, I don't know if I do or not. I do if I can get up there. <laughs> well, you did have power. What's your topping out? What are you topping out at, Sadie? 125. Yeah, I'm struggling to make 120. Watch out, right side, really bad. Yep, I see him. Parked it on the apex. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of don't like this track. I'm about to get the AI driver here, Sadie. Got him. You know the line here? Yep, nice. Me and Sadie plowed the hole for you, Smasher. Whoa! Woohoo! You almost bought that one. Wow. That was almost really bad. I was looking back to. <laughs> That's that was wow. You were lucky you did you were lucky. I hit the car that you're coming up. Oh jeez. Oh, Smasher, yeah, I no! I'm always afraid I miss the 90 degree checkpoints. I'm like, I want to clip them so hard and I just don't want to push it. So as long as the online player wins? No. Win? No, no. Actually, on the opposite of that. It's, it's a point it's system. Points. Yeah, it, it so, the most AI. You get, whoever, 
it's a team sport. So you get accumulates to everyone. You get a hundred points for every opponent you finish in front of on the other team. So Sadie and I both beat all six of the other drivers. So we each earned six hundred mm. points. Sadie earned an extra fifty answer. for winning. And then uh Smasher, you got fourth. Mm -hmm. So Smasher only beat five of the six. So he only gets five hundred points. But because we had three in the top four, they can't really score much more than us because they none of them can beat as many as we did. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's a point system. You have to have more people finish ahead of their people than other, than the other way around. And then you get my people to talk to your people so that your people can talk to their people. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's a little complicated, but basically your entire team has to do well. You can have one guy or two people who suck it up, but the other four really have to come in clutch to win. If they don't, well, have fun. You're no. gonna have a you're you're gonna have a bad time. I kind of I can kind of take it or leave it. Straight? Does it have straight? Oh no, it's it's kind of twisty. Yeah, I don't mind this one. This isn't the one I... I actually only won by a fluke. The one kid should have won them all, but he was a dumbass and he was showing off in the last race because he knew he'd won. Last. Oof. <laughs> I'm right with you, Sadie. I'm in uh, 12th. All right, here we go. Now, see the difference, Roa? Sadie gets out of the hole fast and Smasher just shits and gets. <laughs> I'm actually slow out of the line, but I corner faster than everybody. Oh my lord. Yeah, the drive guitars are making a cluster up here, aren't they? Oh jeez. Oh. Jesus, Smasher. Oh, sorry, Sadie. Wow, I misjudged that corner quite badly. It's like press Y to rewind. Why? I didn't miss a checkpoint. Shot that overshot that yeah, one a little bit, didn't you? It. Working on that. We're hunting them down up here. Me, T, Savage, and L. Oh, my tires are paying off right now. Yes, I have the tires. I can out-corner everybody. Your boy is in the lead. Woo, come on. guarantee you that in the next few quarters. Pass me up. There you go. Rick's still in the lead. Or not. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, T Savage and uh, Ellie there really had a bad one. I'm really the only one having a good. Whoa! Oh my god, I put it up on two tires! Holy shit! That was awesome! I held that? I had this thing up. I. 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 I I skied this thing across the bridge on the right, on the left side, two tires, and I kept the lead. I skied the car. I'm gonna bet we will. I put a new flogies on the G. Step into the bloody bottles is underneath. Sorry. Not just I just got that stuck. I got it stuck in my head right now, all right? You know how many AI voices I've heard singing that TikTok? <laughs> I think my favorite one is somebody did a clip of it from the... Uh, what is it? I don't. I can never get the title right. It's the Musamune Horse Girl anime. <laughs> She's walking Hi. down the street singing oh. that. <laughs> and then I realize you're on my inside. Oh my god. So cursed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we barely won that. Ooh, we did. We squeaked it out. My 50 points come in clutch. Your boy gets the dubs. Ooh. 50 points on the lead. Jesus. Yeah, that was, and that's all thanks to me winning that. Oh man, that was close. Oh, it's done. So we only have to do two since we won the first two. It's the best two of three. My little Dotson came good. I got second and first. I'm, I'm doing okay in this trial set. Quite proud of my little Dotson. One more. What do you mean one more? Uh. One more. Of the trial? No, no, no. Uh, event. Different race. Different race. You yeah. want you want to run the two event lab ones? They're usually fun. No, you want to know what I want to do. So we're gonna go classic NASCAR. B class. Well, classic what? NASCAR. Classic muscle B class. Oh, okay. Classic Muscle B-Class. Muscle Memory. I like the name. Alright, so we get B-Class Classic Muscle. This will be interesting. Yeah. Alright, this is a... Two, this is a... You know what this is going to be? This is going to be the... This is... And this is why me, Smasher, and Sadie are a fun trio. Uh-oh, I've been disconnected. Don't worry. Oh, no, wait. You guys... We're still good. We're still in. But this is fun because Smasher is a power builder. Sadie is the balance... And I'm the conservative uh, rhythm handler. So, like, Sadie, Sadie likes the balance. She likes the power and the handling. Smasher doesn't give a damn. He just wants the power, usually. And I usually don't care about power. I'm usually all about handling. So this should be interesting. Filter. Classic muscle. B-class, you said? B-class. Okay, so I need to make a decision on what I want to take first. I like it how it just says, oh, you've been disconnected several times. <laughs> oh man, that's a really big power improvement. Uh, okay, uh, stipulation, if, we, if I may. Uh, stipulation, if I may. Oh, what is it? Rear wheel drives only. Okay, well I already have Keep one. It pure, well, I mean it's B, it it's B class. Are we? Re do we really mm -hmm. have to worry about that? Like, okay. I feel like that's I feel like that's a bit redundant in B class, but I mean that's just me. Wait, do I have a purest build? Uh, purest build. Yeah. I mean, do I have a purest engine? Is what I mean. Yeah. Keep the engine stock too. Oh god, that's. <laughs> I don't know if I do. Well, oh damn it! I have a V8 in it. It's an LS swap, though. I mean, that's the point of it. I'm still trying to pick what car I want to run. I got an AMC Rebel. Ooh, that's actually worse. Yeah, been disconnected. Let me try again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this car. have enough power to this thing to the point that I really don't need to tune it much. Oh yeah. Let's build a Pro Tour. Upgrades tuning, upgrades. So, I definitely want tires. Wait, it's in mode? No. So I definitely want. I definitely don't want boomer wheels on this thing. So let's get nice wheels. What engine noise is that? What the fuck? I don't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize I had the Funko engine in this thing. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> uh, the race is on the, the Funko Smash engine it. is. You're, you're slowly becoming like Pilkey. No. So when I put the race assault in the 1970s, 
slowly be something like that. Wow. <laughs> I can only put a sport twin turbo in it. Mm, all right. And I'm gonna have plenty. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have plenty of power. I'm more worried about how much power do I make, right? Oh God, I don't have any power. Never mind. <laughs> I only have uh, four total. How much do you have? AFC actually competed in NASCAR. I think I need to knock my tires down one. I have 475. You have 475? Dude, I'm struggling to make 300. Where's well, my, my stock oh. engine? Corvette DR1. The 1971. How many tires? Are you on street or sport tires, though? Uh. Stock. <laughs> Oof, okay, yeah, that explains a lot then. Alright, that put, like vintage vintage white walls on it. It looks weird though, but I don't know. Do yeah, no, that's that gets a little sketchy. Alright, so let's get this thing dialed in. Uh brownie points, get a get a li uh, livery. Classic ah, one. Oh, you had to take the, you had to take my fun out of it by saying classic. Not that oh. not that I don't enjoy NASCAR, classic NASCAR livery. Oh, see, I was thinking of doing something different. Oh, I have the Hot Wheels livery. I don't know if mine's gonna have a NASCAR livery. Which car is it? Oh, you'll find out. Well, I'm gonna let you know if I if I if I if I if I, if I say to you, then yeah, you, you, you gotta, I gotta know. I'm 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 searching real quick. Classic racing. Uh, I guess there is one. Yeah, that could work, like an old IROC replica or something. I could do that, or I could type in cartoon character and see if I can get an anime girl. <laughs> and I can. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, I have more horsepower now. Awesome. I can just get a pink one that says Barbie. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Perfect. Oh, There's hey, open hey Sadie, one. Sadie, I promise you I am bringing a race-inspired paint job. And I promise you it has seen all the colors. <laughs> Red, yellow, and green. <laughs> I need to tune my gearing ever so slightly and I'll be ready. Okay, yep, I'm ready. Yeah. Roa, do you know what this paint job is from? I have no I've been staring at it and I have no <laughs> I'll tell once I once they see it I'll tell you. It is quite bright yellow, I will give you that. Well, I'll give you a hint. On the tail, on, you see on the side what it says? That's who drives this. It's on the spoiler as well. I 
still don't know. <laughs> um... <laughs> Sadie, I brought the 79 Camaro with the Trans Am 20,000 paint job from Redline. JP? Sweet JP. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Roa, it's a... Uh, you've never seen Redline? We watched it together, Roa. I say we watched it. I said I've seen it one time. Yeah, this is... It's that from... It's that car from that movie we watched. You know how animated that look compared to this? <laughs> what? It's the oval? Together with Miyuki. Why is it the oval circuit? Yeah, it's the oval circuit. Shit. What else did he think it was? <laughs> well, if I would have known, I'd have put more power into the car. I have 505. I have like 280. Oh, but Smasher actually can't hold his power. He's got a lift. Alright, the Trans Am 20,000 is not as bad off as I anticipated, and I'm actually catching Smasher. What the hell? Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, I figured that since you had 500 horsepower in B class. But this thing is doing way better at this than I thought it would. Weeaboo is always the answer. And do you know why it's the always, an always the answer? Because I put the new Fogies on the G. That's Japan. <laughs> Am I the worst kind of person? Absolutely. Am I sorry? Not even in the slightest. I love that. Peace, man. Oh. <laughs> the Trans Am 20K takes it. Let's go. All I heard was mmm, 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 that's all I heard. <laughs> Woo! That's creeping up on Smash for a little bit. I I'm saw that. Oval, just letting it know. I will say, I was able to put in a lap time that was almost a second and a half faster than either of yours. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what our lap time is going to be. Wait, was that the entire championship? It was just the one race? No. Yes. Oh, no. No, no, there's more to it. There's more to it. So what's the second one, then? If it's got anything of more than a straight line oh. in it, we're... It's, it's not, not a straight line. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, I was just saying, if, if it's a straight That's line, so Smasher's going to walk us both. Yeah, but actually, the audio circuit's kind of tricky. Yeah, especially with it. It doesn't look that complicated, but it's got a lot of undulation and where it upsets the car's balance. Sadie, Sadie, what car is that? It's a rebel. It is a rebel. Okay, I say it definitely. It definitely has that Mopar design language, but I couldn't place it right off the top. I mean, it does use the same chassis as Super V. That's why I'm like, it looks like a Super V, and that's like, but I know that car isn't in this game. It made it on Forza Horizon Four. It did do that. I will. I will concede that. Well, it's the straight line portion of the track, so he's going to walk us both. Where he's going to struggle, coming on your inside, Sadie. Alright. No, you're good, you're good. It's part of racing. Now, the Drivatar Doom Phoenix back here, on the other hand, I've got a problem with. Because he's cutting me off twice and he's slowing me down. Move, you absolute. Yeah, it's a Corvette.
got that in the uh, Yeah, we have handling, but you don't see at the top end. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of straight lights in this track, so you might hear this. Yeah, because he has to slow down a lot for the corners, but we're not really that much faster because it's B-class. Sadie's got a little bit more power on me, but I'm faster in the corners. She definitely got more power than I do. Jesus. Oh, come on. I've got... I, I, Sadie and I are so freaking closely matched, it's not even funny on this track. Baby, go! Well, I'm faster than her on the two corners coming up, and I've had to keep checking up so I don't push her through them. Now I can finally try to take him at speed and see if I can gap her. A little bit. I didn't put much, but it's a car length or so. Pull Camaro! Pull Camaro! You got me. You got me. Ah. Don't worry. Dang, that was... I don't have that much Holy shit, that was really close. <laughs> I screwed up. Woo! We weren't even close to that. We were like 111s. Oh, man, that was... That was... <laughs> that was really freaking close. Ro, if you wanted to watch a good race, that was a good one between me and Sadie right there. Holy shit. Oh, did we do reasonably priced cars? C-Class, reasonably priced cars. What'd you say, Ro? Yeah, that was really close. Yeah. That, that, that's the fun kind of racing, when you were just wheel to wheel with somebody, just like blow for blow, corner for corner, trying to, trying to weasel it out. Did you say there's one that's a, uh... Whoops. One that's reasonably Christ C cars? Ooh, there is. <laughs> I don't have the car yet. I am going to do that uh, simply by grouping it by under 20 C cars. Sort price or value. Sort by value. And then uh, just 20 K. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of cars in the future. Oh, no. Yeah, there is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Damn it. Do I even Do I even have to explain what I'm taking? Uh I don't know what you're taking. I'll give you three guesses. Think about who I am and what I'm about, and you should be able to guess my car very quickly. I don't know. No, not my name. Like, what I actually do in real life. B4 DSX. Yep, there you go. Is it under 20K? <laughs> That's 25k, it counts. Alright. Does it actually count this measure? 
Reasonably priced car. I think it's under anything under thirty thousand. Well, pretty sure. Okay, well, yeah, because there's not even that many cars sort by value. Yeah, if yeah, you, I if, think... <clears throat> yeah, because there's not a very big because there's not a very big uh, amount of cars that are under twenty thousand dollars. Actually, let me look at the festival, the event itself, which is usually it tells you what cars. Well, it in. locks it at C class, so it doesn't tell you a D class or anything otherwise. No, I mean like a few eligible cars. Well, yeah. Yeah, but, it, like it, I does, said, it, it does. It does. So anything oh, it does. under any anything under thirty thousand. Okay. Sweet. Wow, the the Mustang SVO is fifteen thousand. Oh yeah, it's it's one of the cheapest cars in the game. It's crazy cheap. Also, I can't use that thing I was going to use. Come on. <laughs> I'm modifying. I'm modifying the IRL version of my car in game. Well, <laughs> I mean, I would have. I would have had to use a uh, a one gear, but you know. Oh, I'll get going, Toji. Thanks for showing me the car stuff. Hey, yeah, no problem. Like I said, Ro, if you want to get in and... Uh, I did it for Viri, and I'd gladly do it for you, too. If you decide to buy this game, I'll give you, like, a crash course on driving in this game so you can uh, have a little more fun with it versus just trying to figure it out on your own. Because there are definitely some ways to make your life a whole lot easier knowing what to use and when to use it. Oh, of course. Okay, well, I'll let you <laughs> Let you guys uh, keep driving. Yeah, no problem. All right, thanks for hanging out, Ro. Have a good night or a good day for you, I guess. It is like what ten in the morning there. Eleven. Eleven a.m. Okay, you are exact. I forget you. Sometimes I forget you are exactly eleven hours or twelve hours ahead of us. So. Yeah, wait till daylight savings. It'll be different then. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye. -y. Later, Ro. Okay. Thanks. Again, I don't have that much power. <laughs> uh, the stupid things don't really have any, any much upgrade difference. It was C-Class, correct? It's C-Class, yeah. Okay, thought so. I just they, gotta... made a, they, they made a mistake. They made what? So, you know the dingo bug? The desert dingo bug? Yeah. 25,000, but it's on the top it says 30k credit plus. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, I'll do something fun. <clears throat> I'll do something. Fun to use. I already have something fun to use. I'm just gonna drive my real life car. Easy picks. Um. Would it be wrong of me if I said I wanted to take my 240SX and make the middle tail light light up? Hmm. Nah, you wouldn't be wrong. Because it, it, like, bothers me that the tail lights work, but the center light doesn't. <laughs> it's not... The center piece and the rear tail lights doesn't even have lights in it. It's just a reflector. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get my hands on a secondary rear bar and mount it in the back... Uh, or like drill holes in the back and add wires. That way, it was at least like a tail light, and it would light up the 240SX in the back at night. My old Fieros had that. If you light it up, uh, if you turn on the tail lights, it actually lights up and says Pontiac on the back, uh, like tail panel, which looks really cool in the middle of the night. Pull up in a parking lot, turn off, and all you can see are just the glowing red letters Pontiac. And two little chrome or four little chrome tail pipes because it's got uh, twin exit uh, 
dual exhaust on the back. It's like, God, it looks cool. I miss that car. It was a cool car. <sighs> One of the few cars I'd have back. Just let me know. You guys are ready when you are. That's my turn? No? Wow. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, you're not. You'd be surprised. Oh, oh I'm not doing the power build this time. <laughs> I'm actually not. I didn't do a power build. I didn't either. Same. But I mean, let's be real. <laughs> C class is a lot harder for power builds. Because you can't really fit that much power in under the limit. Yo, you'd be surprised. There is one C class that does a power build. Ooh, not to say it's impossible. It's just. You can't get any kind of control at all, whereas on some right, of the bigger guys. ones, you can get a little bit. Smasher? Huh? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, just <laughs> I just have a Morris Miner. It's balanced build. Anything, so that's pretty short. <laughs> oh, what? I have more cars than I thought I would. Huh. Yeah, it's C class. I'm pretty sure you have a lot of two C classes. I could have taken my golf, but it's a front wheel drive car, it's not gonna work well. <laughs> I think. Reason to be the price below goes below 50k or below 30, or like 20, 20, 25 to 30. Yeah. yeah, but I couldn't use my crown bit. <laughs> I was gonna use the golf in this game too, but then I found out the golf course is non functional and there's not actually 18 holes, so I wasn't interested. Another Dotson 510 for you. God, why? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> <laughs> same. <laughs> now they have like 180 more. than I have. No. It's a 240SX in C class. Yeah, that's way more than I have. I should have looked. I honestly don't know how much power I have. But... I, I can launch, but there's nothing else to this. I can launch, but that's about it. Sadie. I didn't anticipate you checking up that hard through that corner. I'm like, wow, she's stopping. Like, what the heck? Your short wheelbase is kind of skittish, isn't it? Out of that Celica? 
something was wrong. That's fair. All right, to be fair, that was a clean pass. Oh, no. Yeah, just don't screw it up, Smasher, and we're good. That's what I mean. As long as we don't screw it up, she can get dead last and it won't matter because we got two in the top three. I'm fine. Are you still scratch? Stupidly technical circuit like uh, in the middle of Guanajuato, the name. I'm not gonna. I say I'm not gonna lie. Your handling actually hurts you a little bit too. My my S chassis handles better than that thing. I was able to out corner you a lot. Yeah. I was surprised by that. I expected it to be better at cornering than my car, and no, no, it actually not. wasn't. <laughs> no, it's not. Regular Morris miners tend to be a little shaky, so. It was fourth edition. Riviera. The fourth edition is a totally different story. Riviera Sprint. I don't know this one. I don't think. Oh yes, the one I that do. Ends by the beach. Okay, I know this track. Yeah, this is annoying. Oh, this is gonna suck for me on the high speed areas. Golly, Sadie gets out of the hole quick. Yeah. You both again. You guys are gonna be team. Smashers, you both have the acceleration. You guys are to 60 before I'm to 20. About the same here. You're outside, Smasher. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. My bad. <laughs> I was trying to get right out without hitting the checkpoint. Coming up. Sorry, Sadie. Yeah, I'm talking up. You guys can pass me if you want to. Coming on the outside, outside. Coming up. Yeah, I went full lock up by accident. I hit the brakes no way brakes. too hard. I have no brakes. Oh, I got. I have race brakes, but I forgot they're built for higher speed. I got to the brake point and I just locked up. That, I'm like, that did not go well at all. Hello, we have random old British sports car, classic JDM legend, and retro JDM legend. It's like, what a weird lineup of cars. That's a beauty of cars, Oh, no, I did it again. God damn it with my brakes. Why do they suck? I've got fucking race brakes. Why? Like, I'm supposed to have good brakes and they don't work worth the sh Oh, it's because I have race brakes with shit tires. That's why. I just realized. No, I, I have uh, uh, street. I have sport tires, actually. But I'm braking like I have race tires and I don't have race tires. That's why I'm struggling. So you're braking too late. Yeah, because I don't have the traction. It's not the brakes that are underperforming, it's the tires. I just realized it. Meow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
gonna work. Get a girl around you. There you go. Oh, that's almost not even the from Yeah, I actually could have taken it quicker, but I didn't capitalize on it. Oh, well, what do you do? Nice. I have a lot more topics. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think I could have won that had I not realized it was my brakes doing that. that or my tires, not the brakes. I think I would have been a little more competitive on the last one. The first one, I didn't ever have to do those high-speed brakes, so I didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, Typhoon time. Or Typhoon, I mean. Not Typhoon. Hey, you got Typhoon. I already got it. It's already... Mine's already a Rei Ayanami, uh... Atasha. Okay. Roa was, so, helping, Roa was helping me build it. Alright, so... Um... Uh, here. Um, lightning, 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 so, lightning, 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 B class offering. I like how it's the, the description says an A class rally set at night, but it's a B class. <laughs> so, what it is is that this is the original blueprint from someone else. Um, oh, okay. Or is it changes it via their programming? Uh, so it's gotta be off road. There's like not any cars in there. No, no all of these cars suck. Yeah. It's normal off road, right? Yeah, just normal off road. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my, yeah. Okay. Well, I horrible. think I, well, I think we all know what we're all taking. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh, what are you taking? 2069 Ford Performance Bronco. <clears throat> I'm gonna be I different. was going to say I'm going to take that, but now I'm going to get two trade options. I'm going to be different. I'm going to pick the Ranger. You're going to pick the Ranger? Yeah. I got to go build... I got to go build this thing. It's still C-Class. I mean, you can take the Bronco. Nothing yeah. says you can't. I don't know. I be, I, like, let's have all different cars for like, this one. Yeah, I like to have different cars. Fair enough. And besides, I haven't driven this thing. I want to drive it. Yeah, like two new ones that I had, don't even use. I need to use it. It is B it is a uh, B class, correct? It's a B class. Even worse. Yep. Is that not any good part? Yeah, that uh, this one definitely sucks. But I was able to put one together that has 700 horsepower. Uh, Grip? Question mark. Off-road specs. It's off-road, so it doesn't oh, yeah, matter. I can't dumb. change anything. And I have oh, it on. The one that matters. And because and because it's off road, and I hate off road, I have the ugliest fucking wheels imaginable. Yeah. 
Uh oh, they want my controller. And in case you were wondering, yes, they are the dub big chips. Because I'm that kind of hateful that right now. Give me, just give me a second. Is it consent you need, babe? I'm gonna wait in my cyclone so I don't have to look at this thing. And what time? I'm guessing. No, I'm just gonna set my fucking controller on Bluetooth. Oh, right, that does that. This will have to be my last it's one. It's fucking dead! <laughs> That's unfortunate. This will have to be my last race. I gotta go to bed. I gotta be at the shop a little early in the morning. Ryuko is getting a roof painted uh, tonight, so I gotta go in in the morning and uh, spray another coat before I unmask it. No worries. So. Where's my USB? Speaking of which, um, for anybody watching on the live and anybody here in the call, um, there may be a potential IRL live stream coming this weekend if the if the car show happens. There's supposed to be a local car show. If the weather is good, it will pull north and it will and has pulled north of seven to nine hundred cars. Hmm. I hold on. I'm gonna regret this. Are you gonna play on keyboard? No, worse. Are you gonna play on your sim rig? Yup. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> May Lord have mercy on all of our souls. Uh, what's the weather looking like right now for Saturday? Force feedback, not even once. At least with okay. Forza, anyways. Oh, good, yeah. Looks like the weather's going to be nice for the for it on Saturday, Sadie. So yeah, there's a good chance that we will have a awesome car show on Saturday, and I will get to uh, show you guys all a uh, really cool car show I go to every year. Man, I haven't even set up my fucking wheel yet. You already tried to invite me. Give me a moment, Jesus. Don't worry. I'm just gonna be vibing here. If you guys are ready, just let me know. Fuck. God, I hate this. You know, that's cool. It's actually going to be cooler on Saturday. That's awesome. Yeah. Same here, to be honest. It's supposed to be only like a high at 78 for me. Okay. It's showing Saturday high of about 78 near the, where the car show is at, too. So that's awesome. You said you were like north of high, right? Like more north? Uh, I've never said where I'm at at all. I just said I'm in Ohio. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm just more south. Gotcha. Well, I say I don't know if you know the area. Uh, the two car shows. I was supposed to go to one last weekend, actually, um, but it got rained out, and they were actually calling for hail. And my dad's like, "Yeah, I'm not taking the car out if they're calling for hail." <laughs> and I'm like, "Honestly, kind of get that." Um, have you ever hey, you heard? Want... Go ahead. I thought you don't want dents in your hood. Or your... No, yeah, definitely don't want dents in your hood, I, that's for sure. Or anywhere, for that matter, on a classic car. Especially my dad's fully restored Firebird. That would suck. Mm. Um, but do you know the, uh, Smasher, since you know Ohio, do you know Ashland and Loudonville? I know Ashland. I don't know Loudonville. Loudonville is just a little bit south of Ashland. There's two car shows that happen near the 4th of July there every year. One is the first one's in Loudonville, and then the following weekend is always um, Ashland's Dream Cruise. They're back to back weekends, um, and what it is is that Loudonville actually started way back when I was going to those as a little kid. But then Ashland started up with one, and they're like downtown strip area. And the first year it did okay. We all went because, you know, we're like, oh, cool, there's another one in that area, and maybe we'll see some of the same people. 
And then, like, two years later, it took off, and there were, like, 800 cars there, and they had no place for them. And we're like, okay, this got big fast. And, yeah, they are two of, like, the biggest non, like, okay, good guys happens in Columbus every year around the 4th of July. But that's, like, a proper, like, big time. That's, like, import face-off. I mean, they're a big name. These are just, like, hometown car shows that have grown to be out of proportion so bad that... They've had to block off extra streets and, like, call in extra food vendors and porta pots over the years because they seriously underestimated the potential the show had to the point they have actually opened up, like, completely new areas of the town for cars. It's crazy. But the yeah. uh, that's the one I'll be going... Because Loudonville got rained out and actually hailed out at one point. Um, but this weekend is supposed to be Ashland's Dream Cruise. That's the one I'm going to. And what was it, last year or two years ago? I can't remember. Oh, this is interesting. Whatever the, the case... First... Go ahead. What's up, Ara? The first car I have to, that I'm using. A fucking CCGT. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's a crazy big show that they put on. and um, I've been... In... I've been lucky enough to go almost every year it's been on, and it's uh, it's a really cool show. Like I said, Loudville and uh, Ashland are two of the best shows you can go to, in my opinion. And they they have some really cool stuff. Are you ready? I guess. Yep, ready when you are, Sadie. I guess. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hit you! Off road beat class, okay? Ow. Not that hurt. I should have. Worst case scenario, I just grab the record for a Fucking fine. I'll show you. What do you think of the custom paint job I put on this smasher? Hi, hey, Crash. How's it going? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, sorry, smasher. You like the red and black? Say, I don't mind the black, but I feel I felt like it needed some spice. So I put it on mags and a uh, uh, set of raised white letters, and I think it looks a lot better. Uh, car type is off. Yes, sir. Fucking okay, guess I'm using a car. Gets the job done. I just unlocked the new truck a couple hours ago. Nice. Did you get the, uh, you must be talking about the little SUV, right? Because I actually have it as well. Change card. I'm going to get some big old center locks. Yes, Typhoon and Cyclone. Typhoon and Cyclone. Nice. There you go, Smasher. I'll piss you off a little bit. <laughs> I had toshed my typhoon. <laughs> I did. I'm going to put a different paint job on this. So I don't know if I can pull it off or not. I may buy... I Because I... My truck is in a little bit of rough shape thanks to our lovely Ohio rust and weather. So I may be buying a new truck. I don't know yet. The plan is to, like... Depending on if I can pull my strings or not, basically just sell mine and get this other truck, but it needs some work. And I'm like, I don't know if I can pull it off or not. Uh... Yeah. Yes, Typhoon. What level are y'all? Um, I am... <clears throat> Level 77 Prestige 1. Uh, I don't know. Can I look up what everybody else is? I'll look up what everybody else is here in a second for you, Crash. And yes, I have been playing this for three hours. Uh, that's that's, that's not even a drop in the bucket. We've done seven hour streams of this before. Uh, You're level I'm 39 level... in one star? Heck yeah. That's We call that Prestige, I think. I'm level 52 in two star. Heck yeah. I was three star, but you know. Yo! Oh, oh yeah. 
I have so much torque, I put Should my clutch in and it's not going forward. Well, we usually play fours every Thursday, Crash, so you're always more than welcome to come and hang out and uh, watch us race and stuff. This is what we do every, uh, well, almost every week. We, we're always playing this on my channel, at least. So, yeah, every Thursday, I, now, that's, that's the plan. Those plans can change. Uh, but the plan is to play this on every Thursday. Go with Toy Story. I don't see a Toy Story. My controls. But... Something is wrong. Give me a second. Oh, there it is. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, why is this guy's profile picture just the cover to the movie Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? Like, why is that? I don't understand that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what the cover of the thing is. Oh, I believe you, but, like, why? I don't know. That's why I'm confused. Old boy saying, are you ready for Fontaine? Yes, I am very much ready for Fontaine. Okay. You said Sadie, didn't you? Yeah, I did. My bad. But, I mean, I was talking everyone in here to be on it. I say, I, I, I know I'm freaking pumped for it. I'm, I'm psyched, like... I'm ready. I'm only AR-56, so like... <laughs> did I fuck up something? I feel like I did. Oh no. Okay... Daimonos... what? Typo? What did you mean then, Daimonos? Are you trying to say Dominoes? Pizza place. Oh yeah, that's Dominoes. Okay. I was Dominoes and Donatos, Pizza Hut, and Don's, Little Caesars. I'm having some. I know. I, I've heard. Well, I race up towards the lake up by Erie. And when I go up there, I often hear the radio ads for Giannino's Pizza, where he's like, You want a piece of pizza? Or do you want a piece of me? <laughs> it's like every time we talk about pizza, that's all I can hear. It's the stupidest thing, but... I'm having some issues. I think I that's called issue. life. Oh. Uh. So I had to go for the, to the dentist for the first time in like two years because I've been having some problems needed to go see a new dentist. They told me, I'm like, I had a, I had some like mild toothache things going on. They're like, well, we don't see any problems with your tooth. So she starts cleaning my teeth and she's like, oh, that's what it is. She's like, your uh, buildup from not coming to the dentist is forming into splinters that are poking into your gums. I'm like, oh, nice. Like, so yeah, I've been that's being... always fun to hear. Yeah, so I'm like, that's her... I'm being... I was literally being stabbed all day, every day. She's like, do you brush your gums? And I'm like, well, yeah. I said, I try not to do it too hard, though. I don't want to irritate them. She's like, yeah, you're not doing it hard enough or long enough. She said, you're supposed to be irritating them until they toughen up. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. So she's like, well, I'm going to do it for you this time. And then um, you're going to be in charge of doing it the rest of the time. Dude, my mouth hurts so bad. <laughs> like, everywhere my gums meet my teeth is just this dull ache. It's like, ugh. It feels like crap. I hate it. Oh, no, I need to change cars. Okay. Car, are you ready? Or not yet? Uh, no, I am. I. Uh, right. My fucking shit was getting pinched, so my clutch and accelerator was uh, uh, being weird. How are there avatars on the bottom of the screen? Crash, okay. this is called Discord Reactive Images, which means that when my friends are in a Discord call with me, um, I can have their pictures up, and they light up whenever they talk. That way you can see who's talking. So on the left with the uh, closed eyes and the red hair, that's Ara. In the center with the, the blonde, that's Sadie. And the brunette on the right side is Smasher. Blonde. <laughs> she is. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. 
If Sadie isn't a blonde, I don't know what else to what call her. Huh? When it's convenient, because Ara's model or Ara's profile has a red hair picture. Sadie's a blonde, and Smasher yours is brunette, so it's really easy. How do you do that? It's like a Discord setting. Nope, it's a website. Reactive.fujitech. This isn't red. Super easy. Get it right. Okay. To be fair, I'm I'm looking at a I'm looking at an icon the size of a quarter on a screen that's five feet from my face. Yeah. Oh boy. If it's if it's if it's purple, it's purple. I believe you. I just I I can't see that well from here, so. I'll play one. Yeah, I'll play one in the penny. Yeah, same here. I gotta dip after this one too. I gotta get up early in the morning. Oh, yeah. Everyone's just I'm glad we were able to weasel it together for one last ride then. Can I just say I wish there was like rally cross cars available for this because I think that would be a lot more fun. Sorry, Smasher. Hang on a second, Crash. I see a message, but I can't read it right now. I'm in the middle of a race. Wait, they just basically walled this entire track. Yep. I know track this is, they it. Yep, they walled it, and I just uh, caught a piece of it, so. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is a minor difference. Clipping points. I hate that it keeps clipping me out. Oh no, they changed the back half of the track, Sadie. Yep, yep. Why is this a tunnel? I did not catch the drift. That was not uh, good. Oh, this is very, this is There's like this one little area at the track are uh, that's just really sticky. Yeah. And you'll see it. Yeah, I'm like you throwing like a fucking maniac right there. Welcome to the off-road rally, off-road, not off-road, back-road rallies. Imagine not those people that feel just like traveling the same. Oh yeah, did I ever mention that my fucking uh, wheel is set to 900 degrees right now? That was a mistake. Rip. What the hell did you do? That's stock. I should have said 360. You got a Logitech G920? Nice, that's what I have. I should have gotten a G29 though. I didn't get a choice, I just bought mine on Facebook, so. But to be fair, I got a Logitech G920 with the six speed shifter mod and a GT Omega Titan racing sim rig for like 200 bucks. So I asked the kid, I said, why are you getting rid of it? What, is there something that broke? He said, nah, let's see, my parents bought it and I'm just done using it, so. He said, I used it like once and it just kind of collected dust. And I'm like, I hate you. I was catching you two, and then I just rolled it. I mean, I'm like... 
very, you know. You know what? I might as well take this time to try to fucking use the money to stay Set out the police Oh no, my turn. You're lucky there's a turn here today, the other ones I want to just have. Well, I picked a good time to end my night because uh, my controller vibration just quit. My controller's about to die. My vibration just gave up. Oh my god, 360 is so much better. I see. What's my image spacing at? Oh, that just, uh, oh, you just adjust it in OBS so I can just move everybody as big as small as I want. Are you sure you're for one more S1 race. What'd you say? You sure you don't really have the time for one more S1 race? No, because I was actually supposed to go to bed a half hour ago. I gotta be to work like an hour early tomorrow so I can finish my car and get it the hell out before work day right. starts, so. But I'll be I back I'll be back on tomorrow, okay. don't worry. And they have one the S1 race is supposed to be the mug melod melody. I don't know if that I am the shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I got the pop up, up and down headlights. Horror. Wait, hell what yeah. Netflix, what Netflix car? Next week's car is. Oh, that's also fine. Excel 65. That'd be fun. That'd be fun in that one. Alright, so, Gene, um, if you're gonna need to go, I'm gonna move to. Uh, I'm gonna move to my uh, VC on VC, okay? Yep, go for it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, no worries. Sorry, sorry. I I need to do my shit, so I'm uh, not gonna join for the, the rest of the stuff. I'm getting ready to call it a night because I was supposed to go to bed 15 minutes ago, so yeah, same. I will. Uh, let me see if there's anybody I can raid to. Yeah, yeah. need to go. I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Thanks, Ara. Have a good night. Bye. Later. I've been disconnected, okay. You know what? I was going to try to raid out, but I am in a hurry to get to bed tonight because i got to get up in the morning, so I'm just going to call it a night. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a great evening. My name's Soji, and I'm out. Hang on. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys all tomorrow night. Have a great evening. I'm out.